Welcome to Fantasy Audiobook, People in Western Capital. Choose the Angel Bloodline at the start. Chapter 1. The World of Dragon Ball, IG-767. On the busiest street in the Western Capital, there is a lively tavern. Early in the morning, Ron was drinking in this tavern. It was a rare day off, and he wanted to take a drink to vent his melancholy. Three years, as a time traveler, don't I deserve the favor of the system? After gulping down a large glass of beer in his hand, Ron laughed at himself. He had already drank more than a dozen mugs of beer, and at this moment he was starting to feel a little confused. In fact, Ron has a secret in his heart that only he knows. That is, I am not from this world, but came from Blue Star three years ago. Then he traveled to this crisis-ridden world of Dragon Ball, which he had longed for before. Originally thought that after traveling to this world, I would call other traversers the same way, start the game to awaken the system, obtain the super bloodline, or directly turn on the ultra instinct mode. Without any effort, he can have a powerful strength that surpasses this universe. But things backfired, it has been three years since I traveled here. It has not obtained a system, and it is just the blood of ordinary people. To know that ordinary people live in this dangerous and high-risk world, that is the existence of cannon fodder. Those powerful fighters can easily destroy a city with just a shock wave. And ordinary people like myself, sometimes they can't even react and will be killed. And now, artificial humans may appear at any time. Every time he thought of this, Ron felt very sad. It is simply incomparable with other traversers. Gulu, he drank another glass of beer. Ron felt even more confused. In fact, in the past three years, it's not that he hasn't thought about ways to become stronger. At first, I wanted to go to Bowsy Mountain to find Son Goku, but the beast of Bowsy Mountain almost ate him. I also went to Vegeta and Bulma, but they couldn't even enter the capsule company. As for Master Roshi, it was even more outrageous, Ron didn't even know the location of his island. It's not that he wants to be ordinary, but in the face of reality, there is really no way. Ding dong, the host's desire for the system has reached 100%, and the god level selection system has been activated. The host please choose the bloodline. Option 1, freeze the blood of the devil. Option 2, Saiyan blood of evil. Option 3, enhanced version of angel's bloodline. Choice 4, ancient demon bloodline. Dot dot dot. Just when Ron was in a daze, an indifferent mechanical voice suddenly sounded from his mind. At that moment, Ron suddenly had a cleverness, shook his head, and his whole body was instantly sober. It's, the system, did I drink too much, did I hear hallucinations? While Ron was ecstatically surprised, he wondered if he was hallucinating. After all, it has been three years since I traveled to this world. Generally, the time traveler awakens the system right after time traveling. It's just that when he wondered if he was hallucinating, the mechanically synthesized voice sounded from his mind again. Ding dong, the host's desire for the system has reached 100%, and the god level selection system has been activated. The host please choose the bloodline. Option 1, freeze the blood of the devil. Option 2, Saiyan blood of evil. Option 3, enhanced version of angel's bloodline. Choice 4, ancient demon bloodline. The host is requested to make a choice within one minute, otherwise it will be considered as giving up. This time, Ron really heard clearly. It's not an auditory hallucination caused by drinking too much alcohol. The voice just now really came out in my mind, indicating that my system has arrived. I choose 3, the enhanced angel bloodline. After making sure it was true, Ron blurted it out with little hesitation. Because of the blood of the frozen demon and the blood of the ancient demon, I don't like it very much. Although the frozen demon Frieza has a strong cultivation talent, he can reach the level of gold Frieza in just four months. But who knows what his ceiling is? What if golden form is his limit? As for the blood of the ancient demon, I really have no interest in it. And Majin Buu's performance is too bad, except for the horrible recovery ability, it seems that he doesn't have too many specialties. There is no comparison with Angel's Bloodline. And it's an enhanced version of Angel's Bloodline. As for the evil Saiyan Bloodline, it should be the Saiyan Kampa Saiyan among the heroes of Dragon Ball, which was quite fierce when it first came out. But the performance in the later period was extremely hip. If the seventh universe passed on Brawly's Bloodline, I might still be entangled. 
But the bloodline of evil Saiyan was a bit too broken in the later stage. And once transformed, it is like a wild beast that has lost its mind. In contrast, the enhanced angel bloodline is more attractive. And he only had one minute to choose, so Ron just glanced at it and made his choice. Ding dong. Congratulations to the host for choosing the enhanced angel bloodline. Do you want to perform bloodline fusion? Almost at the same time Ron's voice fell, the system's mechanical synthesis sound sounded in his mind again. No fusion for now. If you know that you are in a bustling tavern, if you are here in fusion, who knows what will happen. After paying for the drinks, Ron immediately left the tavern and returned to his rented house. Fusion blood in your own rented house, it will be safer, that's for sure. Call. After three years of waiting, my system finally appeared. Boss Philu is not lying to me. The system may be late, but it will never be absent. After returning to the rental house, Ron still felt extremely excited. God level selection system. And at the beginning, I let myself choose the enhanced version of Angel Blood. It's a bit late, but is it a dick? Forcibly suppress the excitement and joy in my heart. Ron started preparing the fusion bloodline. Then I couldn't send an instruction in my mind, system, start blood fusion. After reading so many novels about the system flow, these doorways are still very clear. Good host. Blood fusion begins. Dot dot dot. Bloodline fusion succeeded. I lost. Is this a success? Ron looked confused. When I remember other people's fusion blood, it seems that they will feel heart-piercing pain. And he is already ready for this. But with his fusion blood, he succeeded in just 10 seconds. And from the beginning to the end, I didn't feel any discomfort. There is no pain at all, even easier than getting a vaccine. Although the speed of the fusion bloodline surprised him. But Ron could feel at this moment that the power in his body was very strong. And this force is very, very mild. Constantly nourishing his body, it was like a very warm trickle flowing in his body. Although gentle, but very powerful. Congratulations to the host, you have obtained an enhanced angel bloodline. Awaken angel's portable realm at the same time, ultra instinct. At this moment, the system sound rang again. Direct ultra instinct. I'm not dreaming. Ron rubbed his arm hard, it hurt. Not a dream. I have truly obtained angel's blood, and at the same time awakened Zizijigong. After all, ultra instinct is angel's portable skill. Now that I have been fused with angel blood, it seems that the awakening of ultra instinct is not so surprising. Go to the mirror. Some changes have taken place in the self in the mirror. Although the facial features did not change significantly, his hair turned silvery white. At the same time, the pupils turned light purple. The body is much taller and straighter than before, and it looks full of strength. Clenching his fists, power flows through his body. Ron couldn't help sighing, this feeling is really great. For the next hour, Ron studied his god-level system seriously. The system is very simple, as the name suggests, it is a choice between these things. Then get the corresponding rewards. As for how to choose, you need to weigh the pros and cons by yourself, and the system will not intervene in any way. Feel the aura around me, with my current strength, I should be able to feel the aura of Sun Goku and the others. Ron thought about it, and then a thought struck him. At that moment, he felt countless auras instantly appear in his mind. And it's very clear that it's not just some relatively strong chi. Even some very faint breaths were all captured by him. I felt four relatively strong auras and flew towards the southwest. Two of them are relatively strong, and it seems that Sun Goku is among them. While feeling the four breaths, Ron immediately analyzed them. Because on this earth, there are only three people who can possess such a powerful aura. That is Sun Goku, Vegeta and Piccolo. At this time, the relationship between Vegeta, Sun Goku and Piccolo is not good. So at this time these two auras appeared together, obviously Sun Goku and Piccolo. The other two relatively weak breaths should be Sun Gohan and Kilin. Now they flew in a southwest direction. Could it be said that today is the day that artificial humans will appear? Ron suddenly said to himself. It is now the year 767 of IG, which is the year when artificial humans appeared. And their aura appeared together, and a familiar picture instantly appeared in my mind. And not only the four of them, but also several breaths are also moving quickly in the same direction. Ron quickly looked at the watch on the wall. 
The time was 8.40. The time when the artificial man appeared was after 9 o'clock. Absolutely unmistakable, today is the time for artificial humans to appear. Hey, it's really time for my system to appear, and it will appear today. Ron felt that this was probably deliberately arranged by the system. It just so happened that the artificial man appeared today, and it just so happened that the system appeared today. If the system appeared a few days later, I would very likely become one of the group of people absorbed by cell. Go and see the excitement. With my current strength, I should far surpass Sun Goku and the artificial man. Ron muttered to himself again. Because he could feel that there was still a big gap between Sun Goku's strength and his own. Just now the system reminded me that my strength is 5. And this 5 is definitely not a combat power, it may be a unit value in an interval. As for what kind of unit value, I haven't researched it yet. Stepping out of his rental home, Ron went straight to the flying technique. Having already fused with Angel's bloodline, the ability of flying technique is naturally self-teaching for him. Slowly, Ron enjoyed the scenery all the way and rushed towards the place where Son Goku's breath came from. After all, this is my first time using flying technique. Although I want to experience the feeling of flying. Although I have also made a plane before, flying in the sky with my own ability is completely different from flying a plane. 1045. Son Goku's breath began to explode. It looks like the battle has already begun. After feeling the eruption of Son Goku, Ron stopped wandering around. With a flash, his body turned into a stream of light and disappeared in place. When it appeared again, it had already reached the top of a mountain. What came into view was the bare rolling hills. In the valley, Ron found Son Goku and Piccolo. And, of course, Android 19 and Android 20. Son Goku is fighting Android 19. And Son Goku has turned into Super Saiyan form. The breath is indeed very strong, and it is obvious that his strength far exceeds Android 19. It's amazing. What a powerful chi. It's so scary to feel it up close. Tian Shinhan looked at Son Goku in horror. The aura is really strong. Although I felt the aura of Goku becoming a Super Saiyan on the planet King Kai last time, it was too far away at that time, so it wasn't so scary at all. Yamcha was also shocked. It's just that Piccolo's complexion is not good at this time. He felt that Son Goku after becoming Super Saiyan should be stronger than this. And just before he turned into Super Saiyan, he was already panting. So what happened? Was Son deliberately lowering his own strength to deceive the artificial man? Whoosh! Son Goku's body flashed, and he was behind Android 19 in an instant. Then he put his right elbow heavily on Hao's waist. Call out! The body of number 19 flew out like a fired shell. It directly smashed into a mountain peak. Hoo hoo. At the moment when Android 19 was knocked into the air, Son Goku gasped for breath. At this time, Ron found that he could actually see the fighting power of Son Goku and No. 19. At this point, Son Goku's unit is 4. The combat power is 250 million, and it is still declining. Looks like Son Goku's viral heart attack has been committed. Otherwise, his combat power should be at least 500 million. Looking at the panting Son Goku, Ron said lightly. And the units of Android 19 are also 4. The combat power is 120 million. With such a huge gap, it stands to reason that Son Goku can easily solve Android 19. But he had a heart attack, and it was obvious that he had already started to lose his strength. Especially after casting Super Saiyan's transformation, the viral heart attack spread faster. Android 19 was apparently unhurt, and charged straight at Son Goku. Because they don't have any pain nerves, unless they are directly disassembled, their combat effectiveness will not be weakened. Yeah, the sharp and terrifying screams continued to come out of Android 19's mouth. The fists kept pounding on Son Goku. Son Goku also began to rush to deal with it. At this time, he felt as if his chest was about to burst. Really heart-piercing pain. Piccolo, what the hell is going on? What's wrong with Goku? Why do I feel that his breath is starting to weaken? Could it be that the consumption of Super Saiyan is so huge? Tian Shinhan, who was watching the battle, naturally felt Son Goku's breath began to drop rapidly, so he looked at Piccolo and asked. Because of this matter, it is estimated that only Piccolo knows about it. No, 
The reason why his physical fitness has declined so quickly is not because he became a super saiyan, but because of a heart attack recurrence. Impossible. Didn't Trunks give him special medicine in the future? Why did the heart attack still recur? Piccolo shook his head, as if answering their questions, and seemed to be talking to himself. Then there was a puzzled look on his face. Could it be that this guy didn't take the special medicine for heart disease? This guy's son is a bit nervous, maybe he can really do such a thing. At this time, son Goku's physical fitness is getting worse and worse, and he has begun to be at a disadvantage. Bang bang bang. Android 19 kept attacking, hitting son Goku in the cheek with a punch. At this time, even though son Goku still maintained the form of Super Saiyan, his combat power dropped directly to 80 million. Sweat kept rolling down his face, obviously in great pain. Goku. Goku. Keelan and Tian Shinhen looked worried. Unexpectedly, even Goku who became Super Saiyan was defeated. In this case, they have no chance of winning at all. Are artificial humans so terrifying? And at this time, Son Goku has exited the form of Super Saiyan. Android 19 began to absorb Son Goku's energy unscrupulously. The pain on Son Goku's face became more intense. Search, Piccolo and the others clenched their fists tightly, then jumped up, ready to help Son Goku. It's just that at the moment when their bodies were just moving, Artificial Man number 20 suddenly appeared in front of them. Then he said indifferently, this is the battle between the 19th and Son Goku, so you don't want to take half a step forward. If you want to die, I can fulfill you. After finishing speaking, he directly opened his arms and acted as a few people. Hateful, Clint clenched his fists tightly. Did they just watch Goku's energy being completely absorbed? But they are making a move now, and they don't have any confidence. It would just be death in vain. Piccolo suddenly had an idea, and then raised the corner of his mouth, then do this. The moment the voice fell, he kicked Android 20 directly. It's just that his movements are very clumsy. Before the feet touched the artificial man 20, a red light suddenly shot out from the eyes of the artificial man 20. Instantly penetrated Piccolo's chest. Piccolo. Piccolo. Keelan and the others saw that Piccolo was defeated in an instant, and their expressions became even uglier. You must know that among them, apart from Goku, only Piccolo is the strongest. Now that both Goku and Piccolo are defeated, they have no chance at all. At this point, most of Son Goku's energy has been sucked away by Android 19. Son Goku's combat power is rapidly declining, and his unit value has also become one at this moment. It's no different from ordinary people. Krillin and Tian Shinhen still have unit values of 3, and their battles are 500,000 and 650,000 respectively. After Android 19 absorbs Son Goku's combat power, his combat power has obviously been greatly improved. It has reached the level of 200 million, but his unit value remains the same and is still 4. Ron has been observing the changes in the fighting power and units of several people in the canyon. Apart from Son Goku, the units of the others haven't changed much. It seems that my guess is not wrong. The unit value of an ordinary person should be 1, that is, an ordinary creature whose combat power is only in single digits. When the combat power is between 10 and 10,000, the unit value will become 2, which is an ordinary fighter. The combat power is between 10,000 and 100 million, and the unit value will become 3. Whether you are 10,000 or 99.99 million, the unit value will be 3. In the future, it should be that the combat power is between 100 million and 1 trillion, and the unit value is 4 and my current unit value is 5, that is to say, my current combat power should be between 1 trillion and 1 capital. Maybe it's because I got Angel's bloodline, so I haven't clearly marked the combat value. But what is certain is that my combat power is much stronger than Son Goku's now. The current Son Goku and Vegeta's combat power has not even reached a billion, but my combat power has at least reached a trillion. After looking at the unit values and combat power of everyone below, Ron also slowly figured out the meaning of his own Unit 5. It also made him more clear. Even if I meet Majin Buu now, I can easily get rid of him. Because Majin Buu is the strongest Gohan Buu, the combat power is about 800 billion. There is no breakthrough sign. So no threat to yourself. It is estimated that in the entire Dragon Balls period, the only one who may be able to compete with himself is probably Vegito, 
who was born after the fusion of Son Goku and Vegeta. Of course, for a real angel, his current combat power is simply not noticeable. If my estimate is correct, angel's unit value is at least 12 or more. That is to say, for angels like Wiss and Vados, their combat power should be above this value. Of course, this is just my own guesswork. Perhaps Angel's true strength is higher than this. Therefore, compared with the real Angel, the gap between myself and the real Angel is probably larger than that of the two galaxies. Even the strength of gods of destruction far surpassed him. But fortunately, with the blood of Angel, he should be able to practice seriously very quickly, right? At this time in the canyon, Son Goku was dying. Piccolo is still lying on the ground and pretending to be dead, intending to take the opportunity to save Son Goku. At this moment, suddenly a figure passed by, and it was in front of Son Goku and Android 19 in an instant. Without any hesitation, he kicked a room of Android 19 hard. Kicked it out directly. Vegeta, it's Vegeta. Seeing the person coming, both Keelan and Tian Shinhan had expressions of surprise on their faces. The sudden appearance of Vegeta means that they have hope again. At this time Piccolo also stood up from the ground. Originally, he had his own plans, but now that Vegeta appeared, it seemed that he couldn't continue to pretend. HMPH, Kakarot can only die in the hands of labor and capital Vegeta, you puppets are not qualified for that. Vegeta said to Android 19 and 20 coldly. Then he directly kicked Son Goku's body towards Piccolo and the others. Hey, you guys hurry up and send Kakarot back, and let him eat the special medicine. And you can go home and watch TV and drink milk. I can take care of these puppets by myself. The corners of Vegeta's mouth raised, looking at Piccolo and Klin with an arrogant face, he spoke. But now he does have the right to be arrogant in front of them. Cut. What did Vegeta say? Don't he know that one more person has more power? Keelan said with an unconvinced face. This guy's words are a bit too self-respecting. It seems that only their Saiyans are eligible to fight. I'll send Goku back first. Anyway, I'm the weakest among us, so I can't help much. Yamcha said proactively. Although it made him feel embarrassed to say such a thing, it was the truth. In the past period of time, his main thoughts were on picking up girls and practicing baseball, and he didn't do extra training at all. So the strength has been standing still. Um. Sun has a viral heart disease, and it is very likely to be contagious. You should also take a special medicine when you arrive. Piccolo nodded, and then said to Yamcha. In the following time, Sun Goku was sent back by Yamcha, and Vegeta also played a wave as he wished. Vegeta after becoming Super Saiyan naturally shocked Piccolo and the others. Because according to their previous understanding, transforming into Super Saiyan requires a peaceful heart. And Vegeta obviously doesn't have that condition. But according to Vegeta, he has a very pure heart of evil. A pure heart of evil is enough to turn him into a Super Saiyan. It's just that only he himself knows what kind of painful training he has gone through in order to become Super Saiyan. Unsurprisingly, Vegeta paired Android 19 with ease. And almost humiliatingly defeated. Android 20 can only run away after seeing how powerful Vegeta is. Because number 19 has absorbed a lot of Son Goku's energy just now, and his strength surpasses himself. Even he was easily dealt with by Vegeta. Then he is absolutely impossible to be Vegeta's opponent, if he stays here, he will only die. And he also realizes now that his previous energy calculations for Son Goku and Vegeta were completely wrong. Because the energy Son Goku and Vegeta showed just now is much stronger than what I estimated. Vegeta was not in a hurry to chase. Instead, he suddenly turned his gaze to the mountaintop not far away. He stretched out three fingers directly, and threw an energy ball over. Only then did Piccolo and the others realize that there was a person on the opposite mountaintop who had been observing what was happening here. Unexpectedly, even he didn't find out, but Vegeta found out. Rumble. The moment the energy ball hit the top of the mountain, it exploded immediately. Call out. Ron's body flashed, directly in front of Vegeta and Piccolo. Even Ron himself didn't expect that the first person to find himself would go to Vegeta. You must know that Piccolo is very smart, and his hearing and eyesight are much better than ordinary people. It seemed that he was too involved just now, so he didn't notice himself appearing at all. Who is he? Are you with the artificial people? 
The moment they saw Ron appear, Keelan and Tian Shinhan asked solemnly. This guy didn't release any breath at all, so they didn't find out when he was hiding on the top of the mountain. It shouldn't be. It doesn't feel like him, and he doesn't have that sinister and evil feeling. Haven't you noticed before that the clothes of artificial people are very special, and they have the iconic, RR, logo on their clothes? Piccolo shook his head and said, Judging from this guy's attire, he is more like an ordinary earthling. But his hair is silver, and the pupils of ordinary people on earth are black, but this guy's pupils are light purple. This is enough to show that he is different from ordinary people. And just now, he was able to appear in front of them in an instant, and he didn't see his movements clearly at all. It is almost certain that his strength is very strong. But from his body, he didn't feel anything dangerous, and his senses had always been very keen. It means that he should not be with the man-made people. I don't know what his purpose is. Hey, you are sneaking and hiding on the top of the mountain, are you in the same group as the two puppet man-made people just now? Vegeta stared at Ron, the corner of his mouth curled up in a haughty arc, and he asked. Just after becoming a Super Saiyan, Vegeta's self-confidence swelled even more. So completely ignored Ron's terrifying speed just now. Vegeta, you still speak so aggressively. Klein said in a low voice. What is sneaky? Ron smiled, stared at Vegeta and said, I stood there openly, it's just that you were blind and didn't see it, why did it get into your mouth, but it was sneaky. Also, didn't your parents teach you that it's polite to ask people? To be honest, he doesn't like Vegeta very much now. One reason is that this guy is too arrogant, arrogant and self-righteous. Second, the last time I went to the capsule company, I didn't even enter their gate, which made Ron feel very annoyed. Although the anger has dissipated now, they don't have a good impression of Vegeta. Especially this period, this self-righteous Vegeta. Oh, you are the first person who dares to talk to me like that, it seems that you are not afraid of death. How dare you talk to my uncle Super Vegeta like that? Vegeta raised the corner of his mouth and said indifferently. After becoming Super Saiyan, he can't wait to fight. The cyborg just now was too hard to beat, I haven't had enough of it yet. Unexpectedly, this reckless guy would dare to provoke him. Of course I'm afraid of death. But you are not qualified to say such things to me. Don't think that becoming a Super Saiyan will make you invincible. There are too many beings stronger than Super Saiyan in this world. Ron said to Vegeta flatly. Because at this stage of time, there are already many people stronger than Super Saiyan Vegeta. Android 17, Android 18 and Android 16 are all stronger than Vegeta. In a few days, the artificial monster's cell, Son Goku and Son Gohan will overtake him. So Super Vegeta, it became a joke. Oh yeah. I have to say that your ability to make jokes is really mediocre. Then you won't say that those who surpass Super Saiyan include you, right? Vegeta said provocatively. In this world, no one is his opponent. Although within a period of time, I was surpassed by Kakarot. But after his unremitting efforts, he finally regained the dignity and pride that belonged to Prince Saiyan. Became the first Saiyan warrior in the universe. What a coincidence, there really is me. Ron said lightly. My current strength is much stronger than Super Saiyan Vegeta. Hey Piccolo, do you think that guy is telling the truth? He said that his strength may surpass Vegeta, but I can't feel the fluctuation of chi from his body at all. Keelan on the side looked at Ron, and couldn't help asking Piccolo. This guy is well informed, and his eyesight is much stronger than his own. I can't feel the breath of the guy opposite, maybe Piccolo can feel it. Have no idea, Piccolo shook his head, and then said seriously, like you, I can't feel his anger, but judging from the speed he showed just now, this speed undoubtedly surpasses Super Saiyan. Quote. After finishing speaking, both Keelan and Tian Shinhan frowned. Even faster than Super Saiyan. So even if this guy can't feel his breath, he is definitely not an ordinary person. Maybe he was hiding his aura. This is not difficult for some masters. But as long as he starts a fight with Vegeta, then he will definitely burst out with his aura. When the time comes, it will be clear at a glance whether he is strong or weak. Hey, you're such an overestimated idiot, to say such outrageous words. My uncle is Super Vegeta, but the number one soldier in the universe. As for an ant-like thing like you, I can crush you to death with a snap of my fingers. 
Vegeta gritted his teeth and said to Ron. Originally he thought that after he became Super Saiyan, these guys would be afraid of him. But now it seems that this guy has no idea how powerful Super Saiyan is. Or he doesn't even know what Super Saiyan is. But that's okay, anyway, soon he will know what Super Vegeta means. The title of the number one soldier in the universe belongs to him. Yeah, Ron smiled coldly, then waved to Vegeta and said, since you are so confident, then come and try it, as it happens that I haven't really fought yet, so I can use you to verify my current strength. Quote, he is also the angel blood that he obtained two or three hours ago. Indeed, I haven't experienced any battles yet, so I can practice with Vegeta. In this period, Super Saiyan Vegeta also has that qualification. Ah ah ah, things who don't know how to live and die, you are so contemptuous in the face of the universe's number one Super Vegeta, there should be a limit to getting carried away. Seeing Ron's lazy, even disdainful expression, Vegeta clenched his fists angrily. I didn't expect that after I became a Super Saiyan, there would be people so blind. In this case, I had no choice but to clean him up properly. Whoosh, almost as soon as Vegeta's voice fell, his body burst out. What a fast speed. It seems that Vegeta didn't use all his strength when he dealt with the artificial man just now. It's gone in a flash, is this the speed of Super Saiyan? Seeing Vegeta disappear almost instantly, Keelan and Tian Shinhan were full of horror. Vegeta's speed just now was faster than Goku's before. Of course, it was mainly because of Goku's heart attack. It's just that this speed, in the eyes of others, may be very fast. But in Ron's view, this speed is very slow, almost no different from a snail. Not to mention that his strength has far surpassed Vegeta. It can be said that it is not a dimensional level at all. Also, I have comprehended the perfect ultra instinct, so Vegeta's speed looks so slow. Easily, Ron dodged Vegeta's attack directly. What? How is this possible? No, I've become a Super Saiyan, how could this happen? Seeing Ron dodging his own attack with ease, Vegeta's face revealed a look of astonishment and disbelief. Then he gritted his teeth and punched out his fist again. Whoosh whoosh, Vegeta is really fast, especially for Keelan and Tian Shinhan. You can only see after images one by one. But Ron didn't have to think about how to dodge his attack at all, because his body would react automatically. That's the power of Ultra Instinct. It seems that this battle is lost for Vegeta. There is a huge difference in strength between the two of them. Vegeta has no chance of winning at all. It's unbelievable that besides artificial humans, there are such powerful and unknown human beings on the Earth. Piccolo said with an unusually serious face. I hope this result is as I thought and it is not capable of destroying the earth. Otherwise, his degree of danger may be countless times higher than that of artificial humans. It's too strong. Vegeta has launched hundreds of attacks, but he didn't hit his body. And that guy looks so calm, he's just playing with Vegeta. Although Vegeta's speed was very fast, Klin and the others knew very well that Vegeta sent out so many attacks just now, but none of them hit the silver-haired guy. One can imagine how fast he is. Sue, you, I will never forgive you. Hundreds of attacks were easily dodged, and Vegeta completely lost his mind at this time. If this is normal, it's fine. But now that I have just become a Super Saiyan, I haven't fully felt the power of Super Saiyan yet. It was such a setback. This is absolutely unacceptable to Vegeta, who has a strong self-esteem. Ha ha, a low growl came from his throat, and Vegeta's breath began to rise. The golden arrogance around the body is also more intense. After raising his aura to a certain level, Vegeta launched an attack again. Although it seems to be a little stronger than before. After all, Saiyan has a characteristic, that is, it can burst out with relatively strong power after anger. Although Vegeta is not like Sun Gohan, he can explode with indescribable terror in anger. But after being angry, it can indeed help him improve a little bit of strength. It's just that such an improvement can't make up the gap between him and Ron at all. It seems that I underestimated my strength a little too much. The gap between us is too big, Vegeta. So I have no interest in continuing to play with you. The moment Ron's flat voice fell, Vegeta had already appeared in front of him. Without dodging or evading, Ron stretched out his index and middle fingers of his right hand and touched Vegeta's chest directly. Click. The battle suit on Vegeta's chest burst instantly. 
The body flew upside down like an arrow leaving the string. A mouthful of blood spurted out of his mouth, and he exited the Super Saiyan form in an instant. With just one touch, Vegeta completely lost his fighting power. This is the gap. After all, his combat power is only in the early 300 million. Boom boom boom. Then it directly smashed four or five mountain peaks, and the body finally stopped. A shocking mark has been plowed on the ground. Just, just kidding. How is this possible? Keelan and Tian Shinhan were completely dumbfounded, and even Piccolo opened his mouth wide in surprise. I didn't expect Vegeta to be defeated by him in an instant after he became Super Saiyan. Originally, they all realized that there was a big gap between Vegeta and that guy. But I didn't expect the gap to be so huge. Vegeta attacked hundreds of times without even touching the corner of the opponent's clothes. But that guy's one easy blow directly knocked Vegeta out of combat. You two stay here and don't talk. Let me go over to see how the situation is. My intuition tells me that he should not be our enemy. TCH, that guy Vegeta is too reckless and too self-righteous. Piccolo turned his head and said to Keelan and Tian Shinhan. I hope Vegeta's reckless actions just now didn't make the guy in front of him feel angry. Otherwise, the situation may be quite bad. Aha! Uh -huh. Keelan and Tian Shinhan also nodded obediently because they all knew that this guy in front of them was something they couldn't afford to mess with. If he could kill Vegeta in an instant, then all of them combined could not be his opponent. It is no exaggeration to say that they do not exist in the same dimension at all. Piccolo could only look in front of Ron nervously. Then he asked in a very polite tone, May I ask who you are? In fact, saying such a thing still made him feel very humiliated. But now in this situation, I can't take care of myself. Seeing that Ron didn't speak, Buick continued, My name is Piccolo, and the two of them are my companions. Vegeta did offend me just now. Please forgive his ignorance. I know him, a very arrogant person. Seeing Piccolo being so polite, Ron didn't want to make things difficult for them. After all, I don't hate guys like Piccolo and Son Goku. Moreover, Piccolo has always been very proud. At this time, he can say such a thing, which is obviously lowered. My name is Ron. Don't worry, I'm not your enemy. Ron continued, although he has gone through the past few years, he no longer needs friends. But there's no need to stand against them. Oh, so it's Mr. Ron. Piccolo was relieved when Ron said that he was not hostile. I'm going to see other artificial humans, if you want to see it too, follow along. After Ron's voice fell, his body jumped, and he turned into an afterimage and rushed into the valley. Piccolo didn't hesitate, and followed directly. Because he always felt that the artificial man just now was a bit wrong. Future Trunks said that artificial humans are very powerful. But if it's just the strength just now, Trunks can handle it completely. Maybe there are other more powerful artificial humans behind them, but this is just my own guess. Keelan and Tian Shinhan also gritted their teeth and followed. Just after they left, a white light cluster appeared. Then, a time machine appeared above Vegeta with a, hope, sign on it. It is the time machine that Trunks rides on. After the hatch of the time machine was opened, the trunks of the future time and space fell out of it. Dad, the moment he came out, Trunks saw Vegeta lying on the ground. Am I still late? Fortunately, Dad seems to still have breath, and he was not killed. Trunks hurried up to Vegeta help Vegeta up. It is a blessing in misfortune that it was not directly killed by artificial humans. After all, in the future time and space, artificial humans are brutal and murderous. Mr. Vegeta, Vegeta wake up. Trunks quickly shook Vegeta's body. He wants to know what happened just now. If the androids did all this, then why didn't they just kill dad? Search, asshole. Before opening his eyes, an angry voice came out of Vegeta's throat. There was even more pain on his face. What Ron did just now, although he didn't exert any strength. But for Vegeta, it was simply a fatal injury. So it is very lucky that he is still alive at this time. Mr. Vegeta, what happened? Did the artificial man hurt you? Seeing that Vegeta had become conscious, Trunks hurriedly asked. At this time Vegeta reluctantly opened his eyes. It is the Trunks that you see. It's you. For Trunks, Vegeta is also very annoying. This guy, like Kakarot, turned into Super Saiyan earlier than himself. 
This matter has become my heart disease some time ago. And every time I dream, I dream that Kakarot and this kid are walking in front of me. I chased after them desperately, but I couldn't feel their footsteps. And they are all able to transform into Super Saiyan. In my dream, standing in the distance laughing at myself. Mr. Vegeta, what's going on? Did artificial humans hurt you? Trunks didn't care about Vegeta's attitude at all. Because no matter what, this guy is his father. And according to my mother, my father is very proud and has a very strong self-esteem. Perhaps after seeing himself become Super Saiyan, he touched his self-esteem that he cares most about. Hey, don't be kidding. As far as the possibility of the artificial man you mentioned, how could it be my opponent, and I dismantled it in a few clicks. Didn't you see it yourself, one of the man-made humans is there. Vegeta gritted his teeth, looked at the head of Android 19 not far away, and said disapprovingly. But who was the silver-haired guy who beat him? Why is his strength so powerful? I have clearly become a Super Saiyan, but I was defeated by him in an instant. What's more, after I attacked countless times, that guy seemed to have eyes all over his body, and I couldn't hit him all at once. Then, who is that person? Is that thing an artificial human too, but I've never seen him before. Trunks looked at Android 19's head and said in a daze. The artificial humans in the future time and space are artificial humans, number 18 and number 17. The appearance of boys and girls is simply impossible to be this kind of robot. Nani, what are you kidding? Aren't they the man-made humans you mentioned? How could you have never seen them? Vegeta was also confused. Just now I clearly killed one of the man-made humans with my own strength. Now this brat actually told himself that that guy wasn't the man-made man he said at all. That means, besides the two of them, are there other artificial humans? It's not. The artificial humans in the future time and space are Android 17 and 18. They look like boys and girls, which is not like that at all. Looks like everyone got it wrong, and Android 17 and 18 are not there yet. Trunks frowned and spoke. That being said, it seems that the situation is quite dangerous. Vegeta's face was even more ugly at this time. After finally killing an artificial human by himself, this guy actually said that it was not the artificial human he said. Is this joke going too far? Mr. Vegeta, let me take you to heal your injuries first. Without your help, Uncle Goku and the others may not necessarily be able to defeat number 17 and no. 18. Trunks picked Vegeta up. Although Vegeta resisted very much, there was nothing he could do at this time. If he stayed here, he would not be able to go back by himself. Then, as if thinking of something, he suddenly asked, By the way, Mr. Vegeta, Mr. Goku's heart disease should have recovered, right? I remember that a few years ago, I had already given him the special medicine. Taking it on time, his heart disease should have been cured by now. TCH, that idiot. There is a special medicine but you don't take it, you might be dead now. Vegeta pouted, and said in a cold tone. He has never seen such a stupid Saiyan, this Kakarot is really an embarrassment to Saiyan. What, Uncle Goku didn't take the special medicine I gave? Trunks frowned tightly again. How could Uncle Goku play with his own life like this? If Uncle Goku hadn't joined the fight, they wouldn't have had any chance of winning. Because Android 17 and 18 are just too powerful. With the strength of myself and my father, it is impossible to defeat the man-made human. Mr. Vegeta, let me send you to heal your injuries first. Uncle Goku is not here now, and when Android 17 and 18 appear, you are the only one we can rely on. After Trunks finished speaking, he returned to the capsule company directly with Vegeta on his back. Dot dot dot, and this time on the other side. Ron easily found Dr. Jero's lair. For other people, it is impossible to perceive the chi of the artificial human at all, because they have no chi at all. But Ron could feel the fluctuation of their energy, so he could quickly lock their position. In fact, Android number 20 is Dr. Jero. It's just that this guy transformed himself into an artificial human. Ron has reached the outside of Dr. Jero's lair. In front of him, there is a mountain as high as hundreds of feet. And there is a cave halfway up the mountain. And in that cave is Dr. Jero's research institute. At this time, Piccolo, Keelan and Tian Shinhan also caught up. Already out of breath, even though Ron had slowed down and waited for them, the speed was still beyond their ability to catch up. 
Ha, huh, Mr. Ron, is that cave Dr. Jero's lair? Piccolo asked out of breath. Um, you have to be prepared. In fact, besides Android 19 and 20, there are other powerful androids. Ron nodded, and then said. What he said, this is Android 17, 18 and 16. The strength of each of them is far beyond Android 19 and 20. What, besides the two of them, are there any more powerful artificial humans? Piccolo and Keelan were shocked, and soon the shocked expression on their faces turned into a dignified one. Just those two artificial humans are already very difficult to deal with. If there were a few more artificial humans, they would not have the strength to deal with them at all. And whether Ron will help them, this is an unknown. Dot dot dot. In Dr. Jero's research institute, the old man's face was very ugly. He didn't expect Son Goku and Vegeta to be so powerful, completely exceeding the energy value he had previously assessed. Those fools have become so powerful. The current situation is based on my own strength, and I am not their opponent at all. Are you really going to release the 17th and 18th? I don't know if these two guys have been repaired. If they haven't been repaired, it's not a good thing to let them out. Dr. Jero hesitated at this moment. He is now in a dilemma. The strength of Android 17 and 18 is very powerful. As long as you release them yourself, you can definitely get rid of Vegeta and Piccolo who are in the way. But the problem is that when I released them last time, these guys still had human consciousness left. Don't listen to your orders at all. And the last time he almost killed himself. That's why I locked them up and repaired them again. I don't know what the result is now. But now I feel the energy of Piccolo and the others. If you don't release them quickly, those guys will break in and probably kill me. Android 20 is just very difficult to choose. Wandering around in the lab. Forget it, after such a long time, they must have been completely repaired. After gritted his teeth, Dr. Jero made up his mind. Let the 17th and 18th out. Because he can only do this to protect himself at this time. He can only pin all his hopes on the fact that Android 17 and 18 have been fixed. After making up his mind, Dr. Jero walked up to the number 17 machine slot. Then the start button was pressed directly. The slot of the machine was opened, and a handsome boy with short black hair came out of it. The eyes are indifferent, and there seems to be no emotional fluctuations. Wearing black short sleeves and light blue pants. A signature orange scarf. The boy looked around indifferently, and then locked his eyes on the remote control in Dr. Jero's hand. At that moment, Strong resentment flashed in the depths of his eyes. But then he said to Dr. Jero very respectfully, Hi, Dr. Jero. What, you actually took the initiative to greet me? Great, it looks like you two are fully healed. Hearing that Android 17 took the initiative to greet him, Dr. Jero looked excited. She had been worrying about this just now. But now it seems that my worries are unnecessary. Then he continued, Since you have already repaired it, then the 18th must have been repaired as well, so I will release you all now. At that time, your task is to kill all those guys outside. After speaking, Dr. Jero went directly to the front of machine slot no. 18. Then the start button was also pressed. After the number 18 machine slot was opened, a blonde girl walked out of the machine slot. She has short blonde shoulder-length hair, a denim vest on her upper body, and black socks on her lower body. The temperament of the whole person is cold and glamorous, just like the boy just now, and there is no emotion in his eyes. The whole person's temperament has a feeling of repelling others thousands of miles away. Like number 17 just now, number 18 also looked at the surrounding environment first. Then saw number 17, and number 17 gave number 18 a wink. Number 18 naturally understood it in seconds, and also glanced at the remote control in Dr. Jero's hand. Then a smile finally appeared on his face. Say the same to Dr. Jero. Good morning, Dr. Jero. Oh, even number 18 greeted me. Looks like you guys have really fixed it, which is great. The task of the two of you now is to go out and kill all those people for me. Dr. Jero said excitedly. As long as there are numbers 17 and 18, no one can hurt themselves. Son Goku and Vegeta are no good either. Kill those people. It's very simple. But before that, I think there is one more thing that needs to be resolved. Number 17 suddenly smiled, and that smile was full of sinister and cautious taste. 
What's the matter? Dr. Jero's expression changed. The two of them are just machines made by themselves. Just do things according to your destiny. There is no need to have a mind of your own at all. Last time, it was because they had their own thoughts that I sealed them up. I didn't expect number 17 to talk to me like this now. It made him suddenly smell a dangerous breath. It's really not that important. That is, number 17 suddenly laughed, but the voice still remained. Dr. Jero is still listening carefully. At this moment, the body of number 17 suddenly flashed, and it was in front of Dr. Jero in an instant. Then he snatched the remote control from Dr. Jero's hand. What? What are you doing? Number 17. Give me back the remote control. Dr. Jero immediately turned pale with shock. You must know that this remote control is the remote control to stop their energy in an emergency. Now being snatched away by number 17 is definitely not a good thing. And this guy didn't listen to himself at all. They haven't been fixed, they're still the same as before. That's what I'm talking about, you bloody old man. This should be the emergency energy stop device that controls the two of us. Number 17 asked Dr. Jero while playing with the remote control in his hand. No, it's not. This is just the remote control of the air conditioner in our research institute. Dr. Jero immediately shook his head in panic in denial. Yeah, judging from your nervous expression, you should be right. Number 17 smiled coldly again, and then shook it hard. The remote control instantly turned into pieces. Then it was thrown to the ground by no. 17. You, you. How dare you do such a thing last time, I will seal the two of you again. Dr. Jero roared angrily. The thing I was most worried about actually happened. Old man. You have done so many hurtful things, now it's time to pay back. A cold killing intent suddenly shot out from Android 17's eyes. Then, with a flash of his body, he kicked Dr. Jero heavily in the face. Dr. Jero's head was kicked out of the air. His head was in a different place, and there was an unbelievable look in his eyes. He didn't expect that he would die in the hands of his own work, which was something he never thought about. Hey, old man. Number 17 glared at Dr. Jero, then stepped on his head. Click. Accompanied by a crisp sound, Dr. Jero's head instantly turned into a pile of parts. Oil was still coming out of it. At this time, the iron door of the laboratory was also opened. Ron and Piccolo appeared outside the iron gate. The moment the iron door was opened, Ron set his sights on Android 18. Because the money is, when I watched the Dragon Ball anime, I always felt that number 18 was a goddess-level existence. She is beautiful, has a good temperament, is strong, and can make money. Almost all advantages are combined. Such an almost perfect goddess was finally overwhelmed by Keelan. This is estimated to be difficult for many people to accept. It's not that Keelan is not good enough, but it's really far-fetched to match the number 18. Are the two of them the cyborgs Trunks was talking about? These two guys actually killed Dr. Jero who made them. Piccolo clenched his fists tightly. It seems that these androids are as brutal as Trunks said. He didn't even spare his biological father, he was just a group of machines that didn't have any thoughts and only knew about destruction. Oh, are there so many people here to play with us? Just now I was worried that I would be bored after going out, but now it seems that such a thing will not happen. Number 17 saw Ron and the others standing at the door, and then said with a smile. However, no 17's smile always makes people feel a little cold. Chapter 11 Hey, what have you been looking at? If you stare at me like this again, be careful that I will gouge your eyes out. Number 18 looked up at Ron, and then threatened in a cold tone. This guy has been staring at him since he entered the door. This feeling of being stared at all the time is indeed a bit uncomfortable. Especially their experience is different from that of ordinary people. They have changed from ordinary people to artificial people. It can be said that it is equivalent to a monster among humans. So if they are stared at like this all the time, they will be very repulsed and resist this kind of gaze. Ha! Ron smiled and joked. As the saying goes, everyone has a love for beauty, so when I see beautiful women, I naturally need to look more often. Is there anything wrong with that? In fact, what he said seemed to be joking, but it was also true. Number 18 is definitely one of the few beauties in the world of Dragon Ball. And number 18 is probably more attractive to everyone because of her temperament. 
In terms of appearance, it can only be ranked second. After hearing Ron's explanation, number 18 was at a loss for words. This guy's answer made him not know how to refute for a while. Although I have now become an artificial human. But for praise, there is awareness. Hey, there are still people who can appreciate your beauty. Not bad, number 18. Number 17 said jokingly, you must know that your sister is a real ice cube. Before they were transformed, they didn't look at any men at all. And few people dare to open their mouths to tease no. 18. This guy is really the first person. Shut your mouth number 17, if you talk so much, be careful I will tear it apart. Number 18 said in a cold tone. Mr. Ron, isn't it appropriate to say such things at this time? Piccolo on the side quickly reminded. You know, according to Trunks, artificial humans are killers without batting an eyelid. Ron was admiring her beauty now. This is so weird underscore. What's inappropriate? Ron rolled Piccolo's eyes. Anyway, they are the ones who are nervous, and I am not nervous at all. Because they are not their opponents at all. When I first entered the door, I saw the fighting power of number 17 and no. 18. The combat power of number 18 is around 450 million, while the combat power of number 17 is slightly higher, exactly 500 million. It has to be said that this combat effectiveness is much higher than that of Piccolo and the others. Even Vegeta, who has become a Super Saiyan, is not as good as number. 18. But in his own eyes, he was indeed pitifully weak. This kind of combat power, in my own eyes, is probably not even up to the level of a little mouse. Number 18, it seems that none of them are very strong. Playing with them is a bit too boring, let's go directly to Sun Goku to play, that guy is probably stronger. Number 17 glanced at Ron and Piccolo and said. In fact, the first command Dr. Jero gave them was to kill Sun Goku. Anyway, that stinky old man is dead now, so I don't need to follow their instructions. It's just that it's boring if it goes on like this, so let's find Sun Goku to play. Um, number 18 nodded, then looked at the machine slot number 16 next to it, and said, there seems to be an artificial human developed by Dr. Jero here, why don't you take him with you? When she thinks about life locked in a machine tank, she can empathize with it. Because she and number 17 have been imprisoned for a long time, she knows very well what it feels like inside the key. To put it bluntly, dogs in captivity are even more uncomfortable. Okay, whatever you want. Naturally, number 17 did not refuse. With one more partner on the road, they will be a little more lively. After all, they are no longer normal human beings. It is estimated that other humans will not regard them as companions. Whizzing. Then when the 18th was about to release the 16th, suddenly there were two bursting sounds, and then Vegeta and Trunks flew directly to Piccolo and the others. Vegeta, and the boy from last time, Klein exclaimed. How did the two of them get together? And Vegeta was injured before, and now he seems to have fully recovered. Looks like they used Sen Beans. Hey, the two man-made humans you mentioned are the two of them, right? Piccolo pointed to numbers 17 and 18 and asked. He knew that Android 19 and the previous Dr. Jero did not have that capability. Because Trunks alone can definitely get rid of them both. Although Trunks is also Saiyan like Son Goku and Vegeta. But his character is very decisive, and he will never drag his feet. This can be seen from the last beheading of Frieza and his son. No. That's right, they are Android 17 and 18. Looking at number 17 and number 18 in front of him, Trunks suddenly showed a fearful expression on his face. Because his fear of these two guys is completely deep in his bones. The reason why the future space-time becomes that way is caused by these two artificial humans. P.S. Dear readers, there are many people watching, some people watching, throw some flowers, and then let's squeak in the comment area. Thanks guys. Also, I read that someone in the comment area seems to have mentioned the issue of combat effectiveness. Said to be Grand Priest and Xeno 30, within 50. You need to know that the multiple of each unit value is 10,000 times. For example, 1 trillion equals 1 trillion. 10,000 trillion is equal to 1 capital. So it looks like a unit gap, but the gap between them is very large. Instead of twice 15, it is 30. HMPH, you all get out of the way, I can clean up both of them by myself. 
It's just two puppet dolls, how could it be my super Vegeta's opponent? At this time, Vegeta's pretentious problem was committed again. This guy always feels that he is uncomfortable all day long if he doesn't pretend. But before, he acted aggressively in front of Ron, and obviously restrained himself a lot after being beaten up violently. Now Vegeta is too embarrassed to look at Ron. Because he knew very well in his heart that no matter what, he was no match for this guy, because the gap between them was too great. Although he always felt that this was a great shame, he was easily defeated after becoming Super Saiyan. But he can't change the reality, and it also made him realize clearly that Super Saiyan is indeed not omnipotent. Definitely not the number one soldier in the universe. Mr. Vegeta, the strength of the two of them is very strong. With your own strength, you can't win at all. I think it's better for us to join forces. Trunks reminded quickly from the side. However, Trunks glanced at Ron, because among the warriors fighting against the artificial man in the future time and space, there is no such a person in front of him. And in the future time and space, I have never seen him. But he can appear beside Uncle Piccolo and the others, which means that he has great strength. At least they are Z fighters of the earth. Stop laughing. To deal with this kind of puppet doll made of scrap metal, Lao Tzu Vegeta alone is enough. Vegeta is as arrogant as ever, as self-righteous as ever. Even if he was almost killed by Ron just now, his ability to put on a show hasn't changed at all. Ron thinks that if there is a ranking list of pretentiousness in the world, then Vegeta must be at the top. Of course, I remember that in the TV series one watched before, there was also a character who liked to act aggressively. He has a classic saying, there are very few people in this world who can equalize with the poor monk. But there are many people who can kill the little monk. At this time, Vegeta seems to like to pretend more than this little monk. Of course, it's just a metaphor. Mr. Vegeta, you are too conceited. With your own strength, it is impossible to defeat them. Trunks summoned up his courage and spoke loudly to Vegeta. It seems that my mother has said a little less. Apart from his strong self-esteem and arrogance, he is also very self-righteous. In the future time and space, I can only compete with one of them. The reason why I couldn't beat them was because the two of them teamed up. Although dad's strength is a little bit stronger than his own, but definitely not much stronger. So if he wants to single out two artificial humans, he has absolutely no chance of winning. Asshole. I will absolutely not allow this time and space to be destroyed by you like the future time and space. Trunks clenched his fist tightly, with a determined look in his eyes. The future time and space have become like that. This time and space must not repeat the same mistakes. Almost as soon as the sound fell, a huge ball of energy condensed in the palm of Trunks. Then it went straight to Android 17 and 18. Rumble. The moment the energy ball exploded, the entire mountain collapsed. You meddling brat. Vegeta gritted her teeth tightly. Then everyone could only fly out of the range of the explosion. Solution. Solved it. Clint asked innocently. Impossible. The attack just now was not enough to kill the artificial man. Trunks shook his head. The number of times he has fought against artificial people has been hundreds of times. So I have a good understanding of their strength. The attack just now was simply not enough to kill the artificial human. It's even possible that it didn't do them much harm. Cut, useless brat, you know how to waste energy. Vegeta cursed coldly. Sure enough, after the thick smoke disappeared, their bodies appeared in everyone's sight again on the 17th and 18th. There was no injury at all, and even the clothes were intact. Number 18 is still dragging the number 16 machine slot in his hand. Then Android 16 was released directly. As in the original book, the cyborg is a big, muscular man. The look is very gentle, and it doesn't seem to match the three words of artificial man. But, why is there another man-made human? What the hell is going on with number 16? Is there such a guy in the future? Trunks. Piccolo asked from the side. No, there are only numbers 17 and 18 in future time and space, and there is no number 16. Trunks shook his head. It seems that the situation in this time and space has changed a lot because of his last appearance. Nani, Trunks, your name is Trunks, the same as my son's name. After hearing Piccolo's words, Vegeta's face suddenly revealed a look of horror. This brat's name is also called Trunks. And he's from the future, capable of turning into a Super Saiyan. 
Could it be, this brat is his son? I'm so sorry, dad. Before I kept it from you, I was worried that if you knew about it, it might affect my birth. Trunks could only say apologetically. But now that I have been born, I don't have to care so much. The reason why he didn't bring up this matter just now is that he hasn't figured out how to explain it to his father. Now that Uncle Piccolo has spoken out, that's just as well. Search, are you kidding me? My Vegeta's son is a coward. Vegeta gave Trunks a cold look. Although this guy looks as handsome as himself, and being able to become a Super Saiyan at this age shows that he is working hard. But he is also too timid, and his character is too obedient, which is not like himself at all. Now you guys just show me how my Super Vegeta dismantles their puppet dolls. After Vegeta finished speaking, his fists passed suddenly. A deep roar came from his throat. Ha ha. Accompanied by low growls, Vegeta's aura began to rise rapidly, and golden arrogance burst out directly from his body. The combat power began to soar. Maybe Vegeta was almost killed by Ron before, and then after being cured, his combat effectiveness was more or less improved. But this increase in combat power is no longer as terrifying as Namek. Originally, Vegeta's combat power was about 300 million, but now his combat power has increased to 350 million. After that idiot injured me, I didn't expect to improve my combat effectiveness so much. After turning into Super Saiyan, Vegeta glanced at Ron and thought. It seems that this is a real blessing in disguise, right? After turning into Super Saiyan, Vegeta's body rushed directly towards Android 17 and 18. HMPH, overwhelmed guy. In this case, let me play with him. Number 18 gently brushed his golden hair, and then a smile appeared on the corner of his mouth. Being locked in the machine tank for so long, I didn't have a good activity, and my muscles and bones. Now if Vegeta wants to make fun of himself, then he will play with him. After finishing speaking, the body also jumped up. You bunch of puppets who don't care about life and death are just playing around, get down on the ground for my uncle. After the arrogant voice fell, Vegeta punched number 18 directly. He firmly believes that becoming himself is Super Saiyan, one punch is enough to dismantle this pile of scrap metal. Boom, the moment the two fists came into contact, there was a deep collision sound. A circle of terrifying shock waves spread in all directions. The surrounding area began to vibrate. You have to say that Vegeta and number 18 are strong at this point. Nani, why is this puppet doll so powerful? The punches did not send number 18 flying, and Vegeta showed a look of astonishment on his face. You must know that your own strength is very strong now. And the power of this android 18 does not seem to be weaker than itself. Just when Vegeta was surprised, number 18 directly swept over. Seeing this, Vegeta quickly dodges. Brush, the sweeping force made the air rustle. Search for, the unforgivable puppet. Vegeta seemed to feel humiliated by not beating number 18 with one punch. After all, he is now a super powerful super Vegeta. Then launched another storm-like attack. The fists and feet were constantly blasted and swept out. But number 18 was able to deal with all of Vegeta's attacks with ease. This made Vegeta even more mad. Is that the power of artificial humans? So strong. Although the two seem to be on par, in fact Vegeta's strength is simply not comparable to that of No. 18. And in terms of speed, number 18 is far better than Vegeta. Piccolo whispered with a serious face. Vegeta's power is indeed very strong, they all know this. But the power of the previous android 18 seems to be stronger than Vegeta. Because she felt like she was playing Vegeta all the time, and she didn't mean to fight seriously at all. No, it's impossible. How could such a thing happen? The Android 18 here is actually much more powerful than future time and space. Why did this happen? Trunks also shook his head and said with an incredulous expression. In the future time and space, his own strength can be compared with no. 18. To be more precise, if there is only Android 18, I am absolutely sure that I can defeat him. But Dad is stronger than himself. At this time, the battle with number 18 seems so strenuous. And number 18 is more like playing with dad. From this point, it can be proved that the number 18 in this time and space is much stronger than the number 18 in my future time and space. Swipe. Vegeta is still attacking frantically. Number 18 is dodging with a relaxed face. 
This lazy and arrogant attitude made Vegeta even more angry. You have to know that you are a majestic super Vegeta, how can you not even beat a woman? What's the matter with hiding? Don't hide if you have the ability, I will dismantle you into a pile of scrap metal in no time. Number 18 has been avoiding, so every attack by Vegeta will miss, and he will inevitably become impatient after a long time. Hey, your mouth is too smelly. Hearing the word scrap iron, no 18's face obviously changed. What they care about the most is that others say they are artificial humans. And this guy, went and said directly that they are broken copper and iron. This really touched the anger of the 18th. Call out. The next second, no 18's body suddenly moved. In an instant, he was in front of Vegeta, and then punched out with a heavy punch. This time, number 18 didn't have any reservations, but went all out. HMPH, have you finally had the guts to collide with me head on? Vegeta snorted coldly, raised the corner of his mouth, and also greeted him with a punch. Boom, call out. The moment the two fists collided, Vegeta's body flew upside down. Rumble. Then, the body was directly embedded into the rock wall not far away. Dad, Trunks yelled worriedly, and then wanted to rush forward to help Vegeta. Piccolo and Tian Shinhan, they will naturally not lag behind. Because according to Trunks, these two artificial humans will kill most of the human race and destroy the earth. This is no longer a problem for Vegeta alone, but a crisis for the entire planet. So they must not sit idly by. It's just that when the three of them just got up, the body of Android 17 suddenly appeared in front of them. Then with a faint smile on the corner of his mouth, he said, this is a battle between Vegeta and number 18, and none of you are allowed to intervene. If you insist on intervening, it's okay, then let me play with you. At this time, number 17 was like an insurmountable mountain. Trunks and Piccolo stopped as well, because they knew that even if the two of them teamed up, or even the four of them teamed up, they couldn't be the opponent of no. 17. So at this time they can only be anxious. On the other hand, Ron didn't intend to make a move. Because he's well aware that numbers 17 and 18 aren't what Trunks says they are. This space-time android 17 is still on the 18th. There is a big gap between the 17th and 18th when you come to this space-time. Since they were released, they have not attempted to kill innocent humans. And the 17th and 16th also love small animals very much. It can be said that they are two very caring artificial humans. Rumble. At this moment, the mountain peak embedded with Vegeta suddenly exploded. And Vegeta also came out from inside, at this time he was a little embarrassed. Various degrees of scars appeared on the body. There was also a smear of blood on the corner of his mouth. Hey, you puppet, you actually made me feel pain. Not bad. Very well, puppet, I will never forgive you. Vegeta wiped the corner of his mouth, the blood stained his white gloves. A bloodthirsty look suddenly appeared in his eyes. It's okay to be defeated by that fool before. I didn't expect that now, I would be so embarrassed by a woman again. This is something he absolutely cannot bear and cannot forgive. Cut. Number 18 pouted. This guy's mouth is really not ordinary. Originally, I just wanted to play with him, and didn't mean to hurt him. But he was so ignorant of good and evil, and repeatedly uttered hurtful words. If this is the case, then I must teach him a good lesson. Ask him to keep his mouth clean the next time he talks to someone. Whoosh. This time, Vegeta continued to choose to take the initiative. Because he couldn't contain the anger in his heart at all. The clenched fist was emitting golden flames. It's dangerous, Vegeta is fighting with all his might. However, the fighting power between the two of them is still quite different. The combat power of number 18 is as high as 450 million, while Vegeta's combat power is only about 350 million after recovery. In fact, in the world of Dragon Ball, when the difference in strength is around 5%, it is difficult to distinguish between strong and weak. Either side has the potential to win. When the difference in combat power between two people is 10%, although there may be a certain gap, it will also evolve into a protracted battle. But when the gap between the two is around 30%, it's almost a crushing battle. No chance at all. At this time, the difference between Vegeta's combat effectiveness and Android 18's combat effectiveness is just about 30%. In other words, number 18 already has the strength to defeat Vegeta with a crushing posture. 
Boom. In the next second, Vegeta's fist hit No 18's forehead. However, No 18's face didn't change at all. But Vegeta's expression suddenly froze. Then, a pained look appeared on his face. When I zoomed in on the camera, I realized that No 18's knee had already pressed heavily against Vegeta's chest. Wow, a mouthful of bright red blood spit out directly from Vegeta's mouth. At this moment, his face was full of disbelief. How could such a thing happen? Why did it end like this? He couldn't figure it out. He has become the legendary Super Saiyan. But why he couldn't fight twice in a row? Vegeta was confused at this time, but number 18 showed no mercy. He directly kicked Vegeta's waist heavily and sent him flying. Boom, rumble. When Vegeta's body hit the mountain peak not far away, it directly smashed the mountain peak into rubble. Obviously, this time, no 18's power is stronger. Dad, looking at Vegeta, there is absolutely no chance of winning. With a roar, Trunks drew out the long sword behind him, skipped number 17, and was thrown down towards Android 18. Cut, number 18 pouted, and then easily caught Trunks' long sword with one hand. He punched Trunks hard in the chest. The moment the body flew upside down, Trunks immediately returned to normal. Obviously, just one blow knocked him out of combat. Trunks, Piccolo and Tian Shinhan also went to hell, but were easily defeated by No. 17. After all, the strength gap between them is really too big. After defeating everyone present, Number 18 brushed his blonde hair. Then, Number 17 and Number 18 looked at Ron. Because this guy was the only one who didn't make a shot. I said you guys are really stable. Your companions have already fallen, and you can still stand there and watch the fun. On the 17th, Ron, who was watching the excitement with his fists folded on his chest, said calmly. Let him see that these guys all appeared together, then Vegeta and the others are definitely his partners. But why is there no information about him in his database? Number 18 was also staring at Ron, expecting his answer. Sorry, I just met them, so I'm not really friends. The main purpose of my coming here is to see the first goddess of Dragon Ball, and to see the excitement by the way. After being cowardly, Ron said lightly. Cut, stop being glib in front of me. Don't think that I won't teach you a lesson. Vegeta fainted too quickly just now, and I haven't vented my anger yet. It's just that I can teach you a lesson and vent the boredom in my heart. Number 18 said something to Ron in a cold tone. What Vegeta said just now really made her feel very uncomfortable. Even if he had already defeated him, he was lying on the ground unable to move. But the anger in his heart still hasn't dissipated. It just so happened that only this guy was still standing, and I could vent my anger on him. You're treating me like a punching bag. Then all I can tell you is that it's a very stupid idea. I'm not as weak as they are. Ron said lightly. Unexpectedly, number 18 actually turned the anger on himself again. Could it be that the fire at the city gate brought disaster to the fish in the pond? That's great, I'm afraid I'll beat you two or three times, that would be too boring. Number 18 said coldly. I hope this guy is really as he said, not as weak as Vegeta and the others. Otherwise, you won't feel the joy of fighting at all. If you want to fight, just the two of you. Anyway, no matter what, you can't be my opponent. Ron still said calmly, not to mention the two of them, even if you add up Vegeta and the others who have already been slapped down, it's still not enough to slap him. It's really crazy, number 17 said with a sneer, and then said to no. 18. Clean up this arrogant guy and let him know how powerful our artificial man is. In No 17's cognition, his strength is the strongest existence in the universe. His idea is exactly the same as that of Vegeta before. It was precisely because of his arrogance that he was later absorbed by Cell. Cut, I can take care of him without you teaching me. Number 18 glanced at Number 17, then with a flash, he rushed towards Ron. At this time, she obviously exerted all her strength. Much faster than Vegeta. But from Ron's point of view, she was only faster than Vegeta. Ron's body just dodged slightly, and he easily dodged No 18's attack. What, was it actually hidden? A look of surprise flashed in No 18's eyes. Because at this time she had already used all her speed. This guy escaped so easily. And Ron never made a move, thinking that this guy was simply too weak, that's why he didn't make a move. But now it seems that this is not the case. 
Being able to dodge his attack just now shows that his speed is already very powerful. Call out. But it was too late to think about it. Number 18 was another roundabout kick full of power. Ron bent down easily, dodging No 18's attack again. It was snatched again, what are you kidding? Is this fool able to see my movements clearly? Number 18 frowned slightly. If it was a coincidence once, then it was definitely not a coincidence that he accurately avoided his attack twice. It's that this guy can really see his movements clearly and then dodge them. What are you doing on the 18th? Hurry up and get rid of that guy. Number 17 spoke lazily from the side. He felt that number 18 just wanted to play, so he missed it on purpose. Little did they know, number 18 couldn't hit Ron at all. Shut up. Turning his head, number 18 cursed directly at number 17. You must know that you have already displayed all your speed at this time. You, you will never escape this time. Number 18 gritted his teeth and rushed towards Ron again. Whoosh, then directly launched a continuous attack. Straight punches, uppercuts, roundhouse kicks, sweeps. All kinds of moves were used, but Ron's body still couldn't be touched. Impossible, how could this happen? Absolutely impossible. At this time, no 18's heart was extremely broken. Every time I attack, I can be dodged skillfully by this guy. And he always had a relaxed look on his face. In other words, he can easily dodge his own attack. How can there be such a person in this world? Ha! Huh. However, although his heart was extremely broken, the attack on the 18th still did not slow down. After roaring, he punched Ron again. Snapped. Enough is enough, you are not my opponent at all. Ron took number 18's attack easily. It's such a pity to use such a beautiful hand to fight. After speaking, Ron gently pushed No 18's hand. Push her directly in front of No. 17. To be honest, he doesn't want to fight number 18 now, nor does he want to hurt her. Because of Android 17 and 18 this time and space, they're actually not that bad. So there is no need to hurt them at all. More importantly, I still have a certain liking for Dragon Ball's number one goddess number. 18. One must know that number 18, who is known as the king of notebooks in his own world, is the dream of many boys. How could such a thing happen? Number 18 clenched her silver teeth tightly, her expression quite ugly. Originally, she thought she could clean up that guy easily. But he didn't expect that he would tease himself like this. And the gap between himself and him is simply hard to make up. Why are there such powerful humans in the world? However, there is no record in their data. What's going on, number 18, is that guy really strong? Number 17 raised his eyebrows slightly and asked. At first he thought number 18 was just playing. But slowly, he also realized that something was wrong. Number 18 must have exerted all her strength, as can be seen from her expression. But under the full attack of number 18, that guy actually performed so easily. And with a light push, number 18 was pushed out. It seems that there are more powerful existences in this world besides Son Goku and Vegeta. And the title of himself as the number one in the universe seems to be inaccurate. Um, his strength is indeed very strong, and his strength has completely exceeded my expectations. Originally, I thought I could get rid of him in two or three hits, but now it seems that I was wrong. His strength far surpasses mine. Even number 18, who has always been quite stubborn, said with a slight frown and nodded. It was a humiliating thing to admit that others were stronger than him. But now she also had to admit it. After all, he knew very well from the battle just now that he couldn't be that guy's opponent at all. Since you are not even his opponent, let me try his strength. I'm the strongest artificial human in the universe, and I don't believe this guy will be my opponent. The corner of No 17's mouth twitched, and there was a desire to fight on his face. Almost at the same time as the sound fell, the body suddenly appeared in a flash. Appeared directly in front of this Ron. Then he also asked with a smile. Hey, who the hell are you guys? In our database, there doesn't seem to be a master like you on earth. The attitude of number 17 is quite polite. After all, although this guy doesn't like to talk very much, he is still good in terms of manners. Me, my name is Ron, I'm an earthling. Ron replied flatly. In fact, I don't know how to count myself. It stands to reason that he should be an earthling. But this morning I fused angel's blood. In this case, 
he should be regarded as an angel. It is estimated that even if he told number 17 that he is angel, he would not know what angel means. Earthlings, looks a little different from you. But it doesn't matter, because I will tell you with my strength next, my strength is the most powerful in this universe. No one can surpass this power. The 17th spoke very confidently. That kind of confidence seems to be comparable to that of Vegeta before. Yeah, then I can only say that you are a bit overestimating yourself, because your power is in the universe, but it's far behind. Ron didn't mean to hit number 17 on purpose, he just told the truth. It is undeniable that in this period of time, at this moment, the strength of number 17 is quite strong. At least on Earth, it can also be ranked in the top 5. But if you look at the universe, it's too far away. Especially after a while, there are many people who surpass no. 17. Stop joking here, don't think that you can say such big things in front of me after defeating no. 18. I have the number one power in the universe. Number 17 pouted and said. Maybe this Ron in front of him is quite strong. But it is absolutely impossible to be his opponent. Then come and try. If I'm not mistaken, your strength is not much different from no. 18. Ron shrugged and spoke. I have observed before that the combat effectiveness of Android 18 is around 450 million, while the combat effectiveness of Android 17 is slightly higher than that of Android 18. It has only reached the level of 500 million. Perhaps for others, such combat power is indeed quite amazing. Especially for Vegeta and Piccolo, who are already lying on the ground, for them. But in front of Ron's eyes, there is no difference between 450 million or 550 million. Cut, I really overestimate myself. Since you want to find abuse, then I will fulfill you. Number 17 curled his lips, and the moment the voice fell, his body burst out directly. In an instant, he was in front of Ron. It is undeniable that his speed is indeed faster than no. 18. But that's all. Whoosh. Number 17 punched out, and the air that was shaken by the punch was rustling. Snapped. It's just that in the next second, what number 17 never expected, Ron took his fist easily. Is this your strength? It seems that your so-called number one in the universe is nothing more than that. It's much worse than I imagined. After the flat voice fell, Ron just gave a light push. Call out. No 17's body flew straight out. Very, very fast. Boom boom boom. Almost instantly, the body of number 17 shattered countless peaks. Then a long trace was plowed on the ground, and a mouthful of blood spurted out from his mouth. Although Android 17 has unlimited energy. But after all, he is also a body of flesh and blood, the result of normal human beings being transformed. So such a terrifying power is naturally not something he can bear. Then number 17 didn't even have the strength to stand up. Infinite energy does not mean unlimited physical ability, and it does not mean that the body will not be injured. And in the face of absolute power, even the so-called immortal body is just a joke. What's more, number 17 is just unlimited energy. No, it's impossible, it's absolutely impossible. How could this happen? I would be defeated, and it's actually in such a destructive posture. Number 17 was lying on the ground, shaking his head like a rattle. The face is full of unbelievable expressions. Obviously he has such a powerful force. Obviously, I have always felt that I am the number one soldier in the universe. But why is there no way to fight back in front of this guy? With just a slight push, he severely injured himself. If this guy attacks him with all his strength, then he absolutely believes that this guy can kill him in an instant. The gap in strength is really too big. Number 17, are you okay? Number 18 ran to number 17 and quickly helped him up. I didn't expect that the interface was number 17, and it was defeated so easily. Not even Ron gave any chance at all. Why does this fool have such great power? Number 17 clenched his fist unwillingly. But at this time, even if the two of them made friends again, they had already realized the gap between the two of them. This gap is definitely not something that can be made up easily. I don't know, I didn't expect that besides Son Goku, there are such powerful humans on Earth. It seems impossible for us to defeat him today. Number 18 stared at Ron and said solemnly. I just hope this guy doesn't embarrass them. Otherwise, the strength of the two of them would not be able to win at all. 
and the guy on the 16th doesn't seem to like talking very much. It is more like a failure, and it is estimated that it has no combat effectiveness. The gap in strength between the two of you and that Ron is too great, leave as soon as possible before he wants to hurt you. At this time, Android 16 also came over and said, although his body is equipped with a power monitoring system, it cannot detect Ron's strength at all. This guy doesn't seem to be using energy, nor is it the Kai that Son Goku and the others use. It's a very mysterious power that I can't perceive. After hearing what number 16 said, number 18 nodded to know. 17. Because what number 16 said was right, they also felt the gap between them and Ron. If you continue to entangle and make this guy angry. At that time, the consequences will be unimaginable. Maybe he would kill the three of them directly. Because Ron has it all. At this time, Piccolo and the others, who had been knocked down to the ground, felt turbulent waves rolling in their hearts. Although Vegeta was defeated by Ron before, but the strength of these two artificial humans far surpassed Vegeta. They can also easily defeat Gita. Unexpectedly, in Ron's hands, although he couldn't make a single move. An understatement changed that Android 17 into a serious injury. This kind of strength, to be honest, has completely exceeded their imagination. At the same time, they were even more curious about who this guy was and why he possessed such powerful power. It is absolutely impossible for him to be a person from the earth. If he is a person from the earth, they have lived on the earth for so many years, so there is no reason not to know each other. And when everyone was shocked, Android 18 came to Ron. Then with anger on his face, he said, you, I will never let you off so easily in the future. Maybe it's to save face for the last time. After speaking, number 18 left directly with number 17 and no. 16. But at the moment, she felt very uncomfortable in her heart. From childhood to adulthood, whether he was a human or an artificial human, his personality was very strong. Never been defeated by a man at all. This matter today, let her completely remember it in her heart. One day, I must go to that fool again to get back the face I lost today. Ron didn't stop them either. Anyway, after they go out, they will not harm humans. More importantly, if you want to gain the favor of number 18, you must not act too hastily. Because that would most likely backfire. For now, let nature take its course. After the man-made people left, Keelan stood up. Because among the few of them, Keelan was the least injured. Then he quickly distributed the fairy beans to others. Are you all right, Trunks, Piccolo? Kling quickly helped Trunks and Piccolo up, and then asked. The artificial man just now was too powerful. Even if a few of them joined forces, they would be completely defeated in a few seconds. This is simply not something they can handle. I'm fine. It's just that the artificial humans were not solved today. Now that they have escaped, the situation will definitely be quite bad. This time and space is estimated to be like the future time and space. Trunks shook his head, then said solemnly. Hearing this, Piccolo and the others looked very bad because according to the previous description of Trunks. In the future time and space, after the artificial man appeared, Son Goku had died of a heart attack. The other fighters were all killed by the man-made humans. Although it is said that Goku in this time and space has not died of a heart attack. But judging by his appearance, he will definitely not be able to participate in the battle within five days. And the two android numbers 17 and 18 just now have the ability to kill them. This time on the other side, Vegeta's complexion can be described as extremely ugly. Today is definitely a very shameful day for him. After becoming Super Saiyan, he originally wanted to show it to everyone. I am the real strongest Saiyan. But these fools didn't give themselves any chance at all. Beaten in humiliating fashion both times. Sue, you fool are unforgivable. I will never, never forgive you. Vegeta turned into Super Saiyan again, and after a roar, it turned into a golden light, and his body disappeared in a flash. Today's blow to him is really too big. It is estimated that this guy wants to find a place to calm down by himself. Dad, Trunks yelled quickly, but he didn't catch up. Because he knew that the most important thing for Dad now was to calm down by himself. Piccolo, what shall we do now? I don't know about the cyborgs. Where did they go? Will they destroy other cities? Keelan looked at Piccolo and asked. 
Because of all of them, the smartest is Piccolo. Stop kidding, how do I know what to do? Also, don't pretend to be so familiar with me, don't forget that I am Piccolo Daimao. Piccolo shook his face directly, and after yelling at Klin, his body also disappeared in a flash. Only the cornered Kling, Trunks and Tian Shinhan remained in place. Both Vegeta and Piccolo are gone now. With the strength of the three of them, nothing can be done. And Son Goku is still unconscious. I don't know if I can save a life in the end. At this moment, the three of them walked up to Ron in a tacit understanding. Afterwards, Trunks asked Ron, Mr. Ron, you could kill the artificial humans before, but why didn't you let them go? Those man-made people are demons, they will destroy the entire earth and destroy all the cities. Trunks didn't look good, but his tone was kind. Because he knew very well that he didn't have the strength to speak unceremoniously in front of Ron. You think too much, the artificial man in this time and space is different from the artificial man in the future time and space. They're not as bad as you think. If you don't believe it, you can observe them for a few days. Ron glanced at Trunks, then said lightly. What, Mr. Ron, you mean, are the artificial humans in this time and space different from the future time and space? But he obviously heard us just now. Trunks and Klin said in surprise. They were easily defeated just now, which was witnessed by everyone. As for Vegeta, it was even worse. Why did they hurt you? Don't you have any points? If Vegeta didn't bite a puppet doll, would number 18 teach Vegeta a lesson? And after they beat you, they didn't kill you, did they? Ron asked in a flat tone, word for word. I don't want to help artificial humans elude them. It's because they are really not bad people at this time. It seems to be true. That number 17 just now can easily defeat us, then he has absolute strength to kill us. But it's obvious that he just wants to defeat us and prevent us from intervening in the battle between Vegeta and No. 18. He doesn't mean to kill us. Tian Shinhan thought for a while and nodded. If the high-level Android 17 wants to kill a few of them, it is actually a very simple thing. Because the strength gap between them is too great. Trunks started thinking aside. What Ron said just now is correct. If it is an artificial human in the future time and space, they will not give any way to survive. When they defeated all the fighters just now, they would definitely kill them. Okay, to be honest, I don't hate any of you, so let me remind you, it's best not to provoke artificial humans. After a brief reminder, Ron disappeared in front of everyone's eyes in a flash. Artificial man has appeared, so Cell should also appear soon. After returning to Western Capital, Ron found a restaurant and prepared to eat something. After all, I drank a little wine in the morning, so my stomach is empty now. Even if he has angel blood, he can still feel hungry. Perhaps it is the dependence of human beings on food. Simply finding a small restaurant, Ron ordered a few small dishes, and then began to eat. And at this moment, Android 17, 18, and 16 also made their way to Exidu. Cut, that, I will never let him go. Number 18 was still mumbling and cursing. With a strong character, she completely remembered Ron. I said number 18, just think about this kind of thing. Although I really want to deal with that guy, but I have to say that his strength is too strong. Even if we join forces, there is no chance of winning. So when it comes to revenge, you'd better not think about it, lest you hurt yourself. Number 17 gave a wry smile, and then spoke dissuadingly. He always thought that he was the strongest existence. But Ron taught himself a good lesson today. Let him understand what it means that there are people beyond people, and there is a sky beyond the sky. The gap between himself and Ron is irreparable. As much as I hate to admit it, it's the truth. Number 17 is right, that Ron is really unbelievably strong. So you'd better get rid of that idea. Number 16 on the side also spoke in a rare way. Cut, you two cowards mind your own business. Number 18 pouted, glared at the two of them and said. Although she also knew that the two of them were telling the truth. With one's own strength, it is impossible to defeat Ron. But I was just not convinced. I just didn't want to let that guy go so easily. Okay, I've been imprisoned by that stinky old man Dr. Jero for so long, to be honest, I kind of miss the food I ate before. Let's go get something to eat first. As for getting revenge on Ron, we'll talk about it later when we have time. 
The 17th also doesn't want to continue to entangle with the 18th about this matter. Anyway, as long as you can't touch it in the future, it's fine. Number 18 nodded, she also had the same idea. The three of them also casually found a small restaurant and walked in. It's just a coincidence that I just found the restaurant Ron just entered. As soon as they walked in, they saw Ron eating. TCH, this guy really lingers. How can I meet him here? Number 18 frowned. Obviously I left earlier than him just now, why did this guy arrive in the western capital so soon? And it looked like he had eaten half of his meal. Hey, it looks like we have a fate with him. If you come, let's be safe, let's eat here. Anyway, I also felt it before. Although his strength is very strong, he didn't mean to hurt us. That's where he's different from the guys like Vegeta. Number 17 smiled helplessly and said. It was indeed unexpected that they could meet him in this place. At this time, number 18 walked up to Ron and said, What are you doing with us? If you want to fight, then come again. I will never be afraid of you. He felt that this guy must have done it on purpose. Otherwise, the world is so big, how could it be such a coincidence? Ron had already sensed their arrival. In fact, he also felt quite coincidental. After they left, they unexpectedly came to Exidu. Coincidentally, they just walked into this restaurant again. I have to say, as the 17th said, it is quite fate. After swallowing what was in his mouth, Ron raised his head and looked at number 18 and said, it's really strange what you said, obviously I came here first, and you only came here now, so why did I follow you? Quote. Also, it's not that you fell in love with me and followed me secretly, and then to avoid embarrassment, another thief came and shouted, stop the thief. Ron looked at number 18 with a smile on his face. Of course, this is just a joke. It would be impossible for number 18 to fall in love with him if he only met once and he angered number. 18. He felt that the love at first sight plot in movies and novels would never happen to him. And he's very self-aware, and not that attractive himself. HMPH, you're not so pretty, how could I follow you? I can't wait to beat you to the ground immediately. Number 18 said coldly. Okay, number 18, let's not disturb other people's meals, let's find a seat first. Number 17 glanced at Ron, then said to number 18. Although this guy hurt himself just now, he didn't think this guy was that annoying. So there's no need for them to have trouble with Ron. Number 18 could only grit his silver teeth and walk to the other side. I don't know why, but I always get angry when I see this guy, and I can't help but want to quarrel with him. I've never had this feeling before. An hour later, Ron had almost eaten. Maybe it's because I have fused with Angel's blood, so my appetite seems to be much bigger than before. The amount of food I ate today feels like the amount I used to eat in the past three days. Fortunately, I didn't give up on myself during these three years, but worked hard while practicing. So I saved some money myself. Otherwise, it would be very embarrassing to eat overlord meal. Although it is completely fine to eat a king's meal with my current strength. But I don't want to do that. Perhaps this is a matter of principle. And at this time, the 17th and 18th were also finished eating. Obviously, the two of them didn't want to pay the bill. One is that they really have no money, and the other is that they don't have that habit anymore. After eating, Ron left without looking back. No matter whether I like number 18 or not, stalking is not my character. This kind of thing is fine. And number 18 has been watching Ron all the time, seeing this guy walk away without even looking at himself. There was an inexplicable fire in her heart. Aren't you beautiful? not attractive enough. Logically speaking, not seeing this guy would make him feel better. After all, out of sight is out of sight. But for some reason, after this guy left, he became even angrier. He didn't even bother to eat a table full of food, so he just walked away. After leaving the restaurant, Ron returned to his rented house. My current strength has become very strong. But compared with the guys in the Dragon Ball supermarket, it's not enough. Even if it is Super Saiyan God, I may not be able to beat it. Of course, this is only in terms of pure combat power. If I am really Ultra Instinct, I can definitely take down Super Saiyan God with ease. But no matter what, I must improve my strength as soon as possible, Angel's Bloodline, the improvement speed should not be too slow, right? 
I remember that in the interview after the broadcast of the Gods and Gods theatrical version, the old bird once said that Super Saiyan God is 6, Super Saiyan Blue Color should be 7, Gods of Destruction Beerus is 10, and Angel Wiss is 15. In fact, for a long time, Many people thought that this was based on the strength of Gods of Destruction, and then used percentages to estimate the combat effectiveness of several other people. For example, Super Saiyan God is 60% of Gods of Destruction. The strength of Super Saiyan Blue and Gold Frieza should reach 70% of Gods of Destruction. As for the strength of Angel Wiss, his strength is 150% of that of Gods of Destruction Beerus. But with the broadcast of Dragon Ball Super, Many people have strongly questioned this division of combat power. Because of Super Saiyan God, it is simply impossible to reach 60% of Gods of Destruction. Who knows one in a thousand, it is estimated that it is very hanging. You must know that in the comics of the second season of Dragon Ball Super, even the perfect Son Goku of Ultra Instinct still has a considerable gap in front of Gods of Destruction Beerus. So it is completely impossible to say that Super Saiyan God is 60% of Gods of Destruction. This conclusion has been completely overturned. As for the Super Saiyan Blue Color, it is even more impossible for the strength to reach 70% of Gods of Destruction. Otherwise, it is absolutely possible for Son Goku to crush Beerus when he casts Kaioken 20 times, or even when he casts the Ultimate Ultra Instinct. It seems to describe the 6 of Super Saiyan God and the 10 of Beerus, not the combat power or the percentage. It is very likely to be a unit of a certain value. Just like the unit values I saw before. Ron began to guess. It is very possible to describe the numerical values of Super Saiyan God and Beerus, just as the numerical units I see are the same. The numerical unit of Super Saiyan God is 6. Then his combat effectiveness should be between Beijing and Guy. As for the Super Saiyan Blue Color, and the combat power of Gold Frieza, it should be between Guy and Z. Because in the revived Frieza, it was introduced that the strength of the Golden Frieza should be around 100 Guy. If it is calculated in this way, it is reasonable. The strength of Super Saiyan Blue Son Goku should also be around 100 Guy. As for the strength of Gods of Destruction Beerus, it should be between the soil and the ditch. As for the strength of Angel Wiss, it should be at the level of a monk. You must know that my current unit value is only 5, while the real angel's unit value is 15. This is simply an insurmountable span. Although now his own strength is very strong. Especially in this time period, there are almost no opponents. But if compared with gods of destruction Beerus and others, it's a bit pale. Or it is no exaggeration to say that he can kill himself in an instant. It seems that I must quickly improve my strength. Otherwise, if I really meet gods of destruction in them, I won't be able to fight at all. Ron swore inwardly, I already have the blood of Angel, so I can cultivate faster than Super Saiyan. And what makes Angel the strongest is not just their fighting power. More importantly, they have many superpowers. This is beyond Saiyan's grasp. Chapter 21 Time passed day by day, and three days almost passed in a flash. During these three days, Ron didn't go out for a walk, but concentrated on practicing in the room. I have to say that Angel's bloodline is really strong. Just in these three days of practice, I have already made a great breakthrough in my strength. If you give yourself three years, or even ten years, you have absolute confidence that you can surpass Gods of Destruction Beerus. It's even entirely possible to reach the level of Angel Wiss. But before that, his own strength was not very strong. It's not that there are no strong men in this world, it's just that they haven't appeared during this time period. What if it happens during this time period? Isn't your situation dangerous? So no matter what, I must improve my strength as soon as possible. In fact, during these three days, many things happened on the earth. Strange things happened in the small town of Poles in the north of western capital, as well as in many surrounding cities. That is, all human beings disappeared overnight. It's not for money, and there is no robbery. All the bodies disappear and only the clothes are left. Others may not know what the hell is going on. But Ron and the gods of Earth understood. It was the monster cell that appeared. Although this guy is considered a big boss in this time period. But in Ron's eyes, his strength is still not worth mentioning. I can completely crush it with a little finger, even if it has evolved into a perfect body. It's just that he doesn't think it's necessary to take care of this kind of thing for the time being. 
Improving strength is the more important thing. Anyway, as long as you want to clean up the monster cell, it only takes a second or two. All human beings on the planet are panicked. All the Z fighters were also tense at this time. Now the matter of the cyborgs has not been dealt with, and the two cyborgs are still at large. But something like this happened again. Obviously, this is the work of some very terrifying monster. Because even they didn't feel the breath of the monster. This hidden enemy is even more terrifying than artificial humans. Besides that, their only spiritual support, Son Goku, was lying unconscious on the bed. Vegeta and Piccolo also disappeared completely, so all of a sudden, these people were completely out of order. As for Android 17 and 18, they are not aware of the danger at all. Dot dot dot. Another two days passed, and more and more humans disappeared. And the monster cell is getting worse. God is the only one besides Ron who knows the existence of Cell. In order to protect the human beings on the earth, the old god finally chose to merge with Piccolo. Piccolo also got his wish and became a god Piccolo. And while Ron was practicing, suddenly, he felt two very powerful chi. This kind of breath is definitely something I have never felt before. And more importantly, these breaths are not the breath of ordinary people, but the breath of gods. There was a breath in it that made him feel a little familiar. Two terrifying spirits of God. These two spirits are definitely not Supreme Kai's, Supreme Kai simply can't reach this level. Could it be that gods of destruction Beerus has awakened? The moment he felt those two auras, Ron stopped all his training instantly, with a horrified look on his face. These two divine auras are much stronger than him, so it is almost certain that they are gods of destruction Beerus and Angel Wiss from the seventh universe. Because in this universe, except for the two of them who are stronger than themselves. It is estimated that no one is stronger than himself. Even Majin Buu can never be his opponent. More importantly, Majin Buu is alive, he is not a god. And what I feel now is the breath of God. It would be great if it was the two of them. I can directly ask Wis to teach me some methods of angels cultivation. If I practice with him for a period of time, it will definitely be much faster than my own groping. More importantly, I know their preferences too well, so it is not impossible to stay in the Gods of Destruction world. Ron said to himself, Gods of Destruction Beerus and Angel Wiss are both typical foodies. They have almost no resistance to food. As long as you lure them with delicious food and let Wiss guide you, there is absolutely no problem. It's just that the only thing that puzzles him now is. Why does Beerus wake up at this time? Although my inexplicable appearance may disturb the future of this time and space a little bit, but my appearance has absolutely nothing to do with Beerus. Thinking of this, Ron walked out of his rental house, and then disappeared in an instant with a flash of his body. After fusion has Angel's blood, not only his strength and speed have been improved by leaps and bounds. More importantly, he also inherited some of Angel's characteristics, that is, he can survive in the universe. Call out. When it reappeared, Ron's body had already entered the universe above the earth. The breath of God just now came from over there, go and have a look. Ron glanced at a black spot far away, and then his body flashed into a silver light in an instant. Disappeared in the universe once again. And at this time in the seventh universe, on a barren planet in the far southern Milky Way. Suddenly two figures appeared. The dress of these two people is very strange. And if you look closely, you will find that one of them is not a person at all, but a hairless cat in simple clothes. The skin is purple, but it is as tall as a person. And very fat, and beside him was a slender and chic woman. The skin is light blue, the facial features are very delicate, and a long silver white ponytail hangs down to his waist. With a calm expression, he holds a staff in his hand. The clothing styles of the two of them look almost the same. If Ron was by their side at this time, they would be able to recognize these two people at a glance. One of them is Gods of Destruction Champa from the Sixth Universe, and the other is Angel Vados from the Sixth Universe. It's just that why the two of them appear in the Sixth Universe at this time really makes people feel puzzled. Master Champa, the planet in front is a super wishing bead. Vados pointed to a planet not far away, and then said in a flat tone. Finally found the third wishing bead. But this thing is really hard to find. I wasted a few years and only found three so far. 
Gods of Destruction Champa of the Sixth Universe pursed his lips, with a wicked smile on the corner of his mouth, and said in a very flat tone. It took four or five years to find the wishing beads. I didn't expect to find only the third one now. The super wishing beads are distributed in the sixth universe and the seventh universe, so it is more difficult to find them. More importantly, I and the Beerus guys are incompatible. Normally, this wouldn't have come to the seventh universe at all. Because if that guy finds out, there will be another quarrel. So under normal circumstances, I would not come to the seventh universe. It's just that gods of destruction Beerus of the seventh universe is sleeping, so he secretly ran over to look for the wishing beads. If that guy finds out, his plan to find the super wishing beads will not come true. It's really hard to find. It seems that it is not that simple to eat top-level food. Vados sighed softly. In fact, what happened this time was not just Mr. Champa's idea. In fact, I have always liked food, so he and Mr. Champa are typical foodies. That's why I accompanied Master Champa to look for super wishing beads. He has his own idea, that is, he wants to defeat Lord Gods of Destruction Beerus of the Seventh Universe in the food competition. And my purpose is very simple, I just want to eat some delicious food. So the two of them hit it off with this matter. But thinking about being able to eat super food, and be able to beat that guy Beerus in the food competition, everything is not so difficult. Anyway, it's considered weight loss. Gods of Destruction Champa said indifferently. In fact, although I like food, I prefer to see the dejected face of that guy Beerus. But in this gourmet competition, after I beat Beerus, I must humiliate him. Let him know that the sixth universe is the real gourmet kingdom. Although during this period, I may be suspected of cheating. But this does not affect the final result at all. Hey, it's unbelievable that such words as losing weight came out of your mouth, Mr. Champa. Vados looked at Champa in surprise and said. You must know that I made him lose weight before, which was more uncomfortable than killing him. And I have adjusted the weight loss package for him many times, but he will not eat it at all. Today, she actually said that she wanted to lose weight, which naturally made her feel extremely different. Cut, what's your expression? Are you so surprised that I lost weight? Besides, I'm just talking, you don't have to take it too seriously. Champa glanced at Vados, and then said with contempt. This guy Vados knows how to fight against himself all the time. And I always like to despise myself. This made him feel very uncomfortable. But there is no way, after all, he is an angel. I am just the gods of destruction. On the surface, gods of destruction looks very imposing, but in front of angel, it is far inferior in terms of status and strength. Of course I wouldn't be surprised if this sentence came out of someone else's mouth, but I would be very surprised if it came out of Master Champa's mouth. Vados replied again. Okay, let's take the Super Dragon Ball back quickly. If that fellow Beerus finds out, it will be more or less troublesome. Champa naturally doesn't want to entangle this matter with Vados anymore. Because every time there is a dispute between two people, I will always be the loser. What's more, now their main task is to take down the Super Dragon Ball. I have always been at odds with that guy, Beerus, and if he finds out that he is stealing super wishing beads in the seventh universe, the problem will be quite troublesome. You can rest assured about this, Master Champa. Master Beerus is sleeping at this time, and with Master Beerus's character, he will never wake up for decades. Vados said very firmly, although she is the angel of the sixth universe, she still has a little understanding of the affairs of the seventh universe especially the sleepy gods of destruction of the seventh universe. I remember tens of millions of years ago, Master Zeno held a peak a boo contest throughout the universe. Master Beerus just hid and slept for 50 years, and all the universes that were almost killed that time were wiped out by Master Zeno. And because of that incident, all the gods of destruction hate Beerus so much. So the degree of sleepiness of Beerus can be imagined. Anyway, it's not too late. Champa said again. Even though Beerus was sleeping, I always felt uneasy. Maybe that guy suddenly woke up, what should I do? Each angel is very powerful and has special abilities. The entire universe can be observed. Vados has this ability, and so does Wis. Finding yourself and Vados in the seventh universe is not a difficult task. After all, both of them are angels. Fine, Vados nodded too. If things fail, 
Then in the end, I won't be able to eat delicious food. This is something I am more concerned about. Call out. Just when the two were about to get up and leave. Suddenly, a piercing sound sounded, and then a figure appeared opposite the two. And this figure that suddenly appeared was naturally Ron who had just felt the aura of God and then galloped all the way over. Originally, he thought that these two divine spirits should be Beerus and Wiss, but he did not expect to meet Champa and Vados. It's actually the two of them. Why don't these two guys stay in the sixth universe and come to the seventh universe? The moment he saw Champa and Vados again, Ron also showed a look of horror on his face. Because it is completely different from what I imagined. He thought he could see Beerus and Wiss. But now it was Vados and Champa that appeared in front of my eyes. By the way, I remember that in Dragon Ball Super, Champa and Vados spent more than 10 years looking for super wishing beads. Then they appeared in the seventh universe at this time, most likely to find super wishing beads. Soon, Ron thought of their purpose in coming to the seventh universe. In Dragon Ball Super, Ron actually doesn't like the role of Champa. The typical kind of lazy, bad-tempered and narrow-minded. As for Angel Vados of the sixth universe, he really likes it. Although Vados has light blue skin, this does not seem to affect her beauty, but adds a bit of exotic color to her. After all, in real life, some black girls are very popular. Nani, who is this guy? Why did he appear suddenly? The moment they saw Ron, Champa and Vados also showed surprise on their faces. Because they never thought that there would be human beings in this place. What the hell is going on here? Vados, why did such a guy suddenly appear here, and judging by his appearance, he seemed to have seen it somewhere before. Champa looked at Ron, then asked Vados. By the way, this guy looks a lot like Angel. The same silver white hair, the same light red pupils. Especially after taking a look at Vados, he realized that this guy looked more like him. I don't know either, Master Champa. Vados shook his head. He had never seen such a guy. It's just that looking at him, it does feel a little familiar. And he was able to come to this place in an instant, which shows that his strength is also quite good. Have you not seen him? But I think he looks a bit like your angel, could it be a trainee angel from the seventh universe or something? Champa asked again, this guy's body also seems to contain the power of God. It means that he is most likely an angel. It's not. Vados shook his head very firmly, and then said, the apprentice angel of the seventh universe is Myers, not him. And among all the angels and trainee angels, there is no angel like him. So I'm sure he's not from our angel family. Although each angel is responsible for supporting the gods of destruction of a universe. So there are very few opportunities to meet each other. But how many angels there are in total, who are the angels in that universe and the apprentice angels, they still know each other very well. After all, they are the children of the grand priest, and they are brothers and sisters to each other. So it is natural to understand. So he was absolutely sure and felt that this guy was not angel at least not from their angel family. So that's how it is. From what you've said, it looks like he just looks similar to Angel. Champa said something lightly, if it wasn't for Angel, nothing would happen. Even if he killed him directly, nothing would happen. With a universe so big, it's impossible for Beerus to know that he killed people in his universe. It is estimated that even if he destroys a planet by himself, he will not know what is going on at all. Hey, who are you? Why did you come to this kind of place? Champa asked indifferently, although he said that he is not afraid of killing people in the seventh universe. But a human being is like an ant in his own eyes. So I don't pay attention to ants all the time, let alone take them to heart. As long as the ants don't come to provoke me, then I generally won't hurt them. But if any human ants dare to challenge the dignity of gods of destruction, then I will destroy him without hesitation. I, I'm just an ordinary person in this universe. Ron replied neither humble nor overbearing. Although the opponent is the gods of destruction of the sixth universe, this is nothing to him. So I will never bow down in front of him. TCH, a mere human, actually talking to gods of destruction in such a tone. It seems that the people of the seventh universe, just like Beerus, have no manners at all. After hearing Ron's answer, Champa frowned slightly because what gods of destruction pays most attention to his face.
Now that this guy is talking to gods of destruction in such a lazy tone, it is undoubtedly a kind of disrespect for who is destroying. At least he thought so. Master Champa, it is estimated that this human being does not know the existence of gods of destruction. I don't know that you are the gods of destruction of the sixth universe, so his tone will inevitably be a little arrogant. If Mr. Champa cares about these things, he probably won't be able to finish it. Angel Vados on the side reminded. If the existence of gods of destruction is not known, then speaking in this tone is not disrespectful to gods of destruction. Because they are very clear, those who do not know are innocent. The other party doesn't even know that you are gods of destruction, so why should they respect you? You're right about what you said. If that's the case, forget it. Anyway, it's just a human ant, it's the same whether you kill it or not. Champa also said something lightly. As long as this guy doesn't get in the way of their work, or their search for the Super Dragon Ball. It doesn't matter anymore. Hey, human, get me off this planet right now. We have things to do. In this case, there may be a way out. Afterwards, Champa spoke indifferently to Ron in a commanding manner. Anyway, a human being is like a small bug in his own eyes. I don't need to be polite to him at all, and I don't have that habit. Because when he usually talks to all human beings, he is arrogant and superior. So here is the seventh universe, and this habit is hard to get rid of. After hearing Champa's scroll, Ron frowned slightly. What this guy said just now really made him feel very uncomfortable. Or it can be said to be very uncomfortable. Although he is gods of destruction, he doesn't take himself too seriously. I'm so sorry, I don't want to leave just yet. Staring at Champa, Ron sneered. Gods of destruction, while terrifying, is not omnipotent. There is indeed a gap between these current strengths and gods of destruction, but I have already mastered the perfect ultra instinct. If he really fights gods of destruction Champa, maybe he can let himself know how far his current strength is from gods of destruction. And in the Dragon Ball Super animation, even in the manga Gods of Destruction battle, his performance is very average. Even if he loses to Champa, escaping from his hands should not be a problem. Champa's arrogant posture just now made him feel uncomfortable. If he was still an ordinary person now, then it would be nothing more than him yelling at him. But now he has the blood of Angel, and has mastered the perfect ultra instinct. Even if you really fight, you can hone your actual combat experience in actual combat. After all, on Earth, he no longer has any opponents. This feeling of having no opponent is actually quite boring. So if I can fight against gods of destruction today, maybe my strength will also be improved. What, I heard you right, how dare you talk to me like that? What a lifeless ant, do you know who I am? After hearing Ron's words, Champa's expression changed suddenly. Just now he felt that the tone of his speech was already very polite. But this fool, dare to refute his own words. It seems that he is really impatient to live. I have lived for hundreds of millions of years these days, and I have never seen such an arrogant human being who dared to talk to gods of destruction like this. I'm so sorry, I really don't know who you are, and, don't be too self-righteous. Now that he was ready to tear his skin apart, Ron had nothing to fear. At worst, fight Champa. Although I know very well, Gods of Destruction is indeed arrogant, and also has the qualifications to look down on everything. But at this moment, the guy's arrogant attitude made him feel a little unbearable. Besides, he is only the Gods of Destruction of the Sixth Universe, and it is not so easy to kill himself in the Seventh Universe. Besides, if the battle is too intense, Angel Wiss will definitely notice it. At that time, maybe Beerus will be forced to wake up. After all, anyway, the seventh universe is jointly governed by gods of destruction and angel. If something big happens to a universe, angel and gods of destruction need to be jointly responsible. So once the battle is too fierce, angel wiss absolutely can't sit idly by. Although angel has always been in a neutral position, this is the seventh universe after all. And wiss is the angel of the seventh universe. Master Champa, I think it's more important for us to find super wishing beads. He doesn't know the existence of gods of destruction, so his words will inevitably be a little rushed. After hearing Ron's words, Vado said to Champa again. And the attitude of the seventh universe human being in front of him is not bad. More importantly, if this incident continues, they won't be able to get the super wishing beads. 
At that time, if Master Beerus is alarmed, it will be a very troublesome matter. Shut up, Vados. Dare to talk to gods of destruction like that. How dare you tell gods of destruction not to be too self-righteous? It's the first time I've heard such stupid and ignorant words in billions of years. After hearing Ron's words, Champa's face instantly revealed an angry look. I have been doing gods of destruction for hundreds of millions of years, but no human being has ever dared to be so presumptuous in front of myself. Then he gritted his teeth tightly and said angrily, I wanted to let you go, but I didn't expect you, an ant, to be so ignorant. If that's the case, then I will definitely get rid of you completely today, even if you are from the seventh universe, no exception. Champa's voice was full of anger. Obviously, he was really angry at this time. After all, in their eyes, the dignity of gods of destruction cannot be challenged. What Ron said just now was obviously extremely disrespectful to gods of destruction, so he must be punished as he should. Don't think that just because you are a god, you can be superior. I may not be your opponent now, but one day I will surpass you, the so-called god. At this time, Ron had already given up all his strength, and he no longer had any fears about gods of destruction. Although I don't ask gods of destruction to treat human beings equally. But this guy kept his mouth shut and said to spare his life and let himself go. That lofty attitude really made me very uncomfortable. In this case, let's play a game. Anyway, at this time, I have no opponent, and perhaps gods of destruction is my best opponent. Beyond the gods, a look of surprise flashed in gods of destruction Champa's eyes. Then he continued. It seems that you know the existence of God, and dare to speak so rudely to gods of destruction on the premise of knowing the existence of God. You committed the crime knowingly, so I will kill you completely, and even your soul will be completely destroyed, and I will never leave you any life. If this guy is ignorant, although I will not forgive him. But at least feel better. Unexpectedly, this ants would dare to speak out to provoke him when he knew that he was gods of destruction. Then I will never kill him easily. I want to torture him well, and finally kill him completely. Perhaps this is the only way to vent some of the anger in my heart. Master Champa, this is the seventh universe. The purpose of our visit this time is to find super wishing beads. If there is any commotion, Lord Beerus may know about it. At that time, if you want to collect super wishing beads in the seventh universe, things will not be so simple. So I think Master Champa, you should calm down, Let's find the super wishing bead first, and then talk about other things. Vados at the side saw the tense atmosphere, and immediately stepped forward to persuade him again. Because he felt that the human being in front of him didn't seem to have made any mistakes. Because Master Champa's tone was really bad before. Although Master Champa is the gods of destruction, she has always felt that the gods of destruction should also be a little more polite. Stop talking nonsense, Vados. Finding super wishing beads is of course very important, but this ants dare to challenge the majesty of gods of destruction. I absolutely want to let him know how stupid it is to not have you for gods of destruction. At the same time, let him pay for his stupidity. Gods of destruction Champa reprimanded directly and coldly. Obviously, this matter has no turning point. He must teach this stupid ant a good lesson. Otherwise, the majesty of her gods of destruction will be provoked, which is something she absolutely does not allow. Oh, there's really nothing I can do about you. It's obvious that I made a mistake first. Vados could only mutter aside. Although I am higher and stronger than gods of destruction in both god position and strength. But one thing, my main duty is to assist gods of destruction. So under normal circumstances, I absolutely can't go against any decision made by gods of destruction. However, Vados still kindly glanced at Ron, and then said, You should apologize to Lord Champa, I know you may have some strength, but it is absolutely impossible to be the opponent of gods of destruction. It would be a pity if he was killed because of this. Although the little guy in front of him is a human from the seventh universe, he seems to feel something familiar from his body. So she didn't want this little guy to be killed by Lord Champa. And almost after Vado's voice fell, a cold electronic synthesizer sounded in his mind. It is the sound of the system. Ding. Vado's discourages the host from apologizing to gods of destruction Champa. In the face of this situation, the host is asked to make a choice. Option 1. 
listen to Vado's advice, and obediently apologize to gods of destruction Champa. Reward. 5,000 megabytes of fighting power. Option 2. Refuse to apologize, and compete with gods of destruction Champa. Reward. Flash time power. After the task is completed, you will be rewarded. After the sound of the system sounded, Ron was slightly surprised. But I didn't feel too shocked. After all, what I have obtained is a god-level selection system, and when faced with a choice, the system will naturally appear. It's just that the choice this time seems to be very good. Although he said that he wanted to listen to Vado's dissuasion, and knew that she had good intentions. But, it is absolutely impossible for me to compromise with gods of destruction Champa, a fat pig. Besides, things have come to this point. It is estimated that even if I compromise now and apologize to him now, this guy should not let it go. If that's the case, why should I apologize to him? Although the combat power of 5000 megabytes is quite attractive to me. But if compared with Shan Shigong, there still seems to be a big gap. Because 5000 trillion combat power is a fixed value, and the ability of flashing time will grow infinitely with the improvement of one's own strength. I choose the second, refuse to apologize, and take on gods of destruction Champa. There was no hesitation, and Ron quickly made his choice. Because of this choice, I actually made it when I contradicted gods of destruction Champa. It is also a surprise to be able to get the reward of flash time skill now. Stop joking around here, Vados. Do you think I will let this stupid and ignorant ant go today? It's just wishful thinking. No matter what, I won't let him go. Gods of Destruction Champa said in a cold tone. Although sometimes I am afraid of Angel. But today, even Vados must not interfere with his own decisions. This stupid ant must die. Master Champa, let me remind you again, if you fight too fiercely and disturb Lord Beerus at that time, and let him wake up, the situation will be bad. I'm not speaking for anyone now, but explaining this fact. If you still insist on doing it, then please feel free. Vados said in a very calm tone. Even if Beerus wakes up, even if I can't get the super wishing bead, this ant must die today. At this moment, Champa seemed determined to kill Ron no matter what he said. If you want to kill me, then go ahead. Ron also knew that there was no turning back at this time, so he could only speak to Champa in a cold tone. To be honest, I didn't want to make trouble with them like this at first, but Gods of Destruction Champa's temper seems a little too hot. They simply didn't put human beings in their eyes, it seems that human beings are not even comparable to an ant in their eyes. Then have a good fight with Champa. To be able to fight against gods of destruction at this stage, to be honest, he still feels very excited. Because he knows very well that if he wants to improve his strength as soon as possible, he must improve in actual combat. Ants, I will help you now. Gods of destruction Champa's eyes narrowed slightly, and a cold light suddenly shot out. And at that moment, Ron also felt the breath of Gods of Destruction Champa, and he had a huge improvement. At this time, his fighting power was also clearly presented in front of Ron. Champa's unit at this time is 8, and his combat power is between Z and Rang. A combat power of more than 1000 Z. After seeing the combat power released by Champa, Ron frowned tightly. He knew that this would definitely not be the true strength of Gods of Destruction Champa. Maybe he didn't want to release all his power for some reason. Even though he was prepared in his heart, he was still shocked by this terrifying fighting power. If this guy unleashes his full power, his power is likely to be in the soil or between the ditch. Because the unit value of Gods of Destruction Beerus is 10, Gods of Destruction Champa is definitely not as powerful as Beerus. But the gap should not be particularly large. After all, who can be gods of destruction without two brushes in their hands? Then if he exerts all his strength, the unit value is likely to reach 10 as well, and his combat power is between ditch and ravine. But even if he didn't display his full strength, the strength of more than 1000 Z is far from being comparable to his own. After all, his unit value is only 5, and his combat power is between Zhao and Jing. If you only look at combat power, you can't be Champa's opponent. Oh, it seems that Master Champa has reservations, and he is probably afraid that Master Beerus will find out that he came to the seventh universe. Or maybe he didn't think it was necessary. Vados whispered to himself. But even so, 
she could feel that Master Champa's strength far surpassed that little guy in front of her. Ants, now I will let you know the fate of offending gods of destruction. Almost as soon as the sound fell, Champa's body suddenly appeared in a flash. It has to be said that this guy's speed is amazing. It is simply not Vegeta and artificial humans, they can be compared with each other. It can be said that they are not on the same level at all. However, although Champa is much stronger than himself, he can vaguely see his movements at this time. And Ron who comprehended the Ultra Instinct reacted very quickly. With a retreat of the body, he directly avoided Champa's attack. Of course, this is a spontaneous reaction of the body, without thinking about it by the brain. That's what the Ultra Instinct does too. Because after the brain thinks, the brain has to issue instructions to the nerves of the body, and the speed will definitely be much slower at that time. Nani, how is it possible that this ant escaped? Unexpectedly, the ant in front of him escaped his attack. Just a human being, it must be a coincidence. This feeling? Probably not, he is just a human being, how could he master that realm? The moment Vados saw Ron dodging Champa's attack again, his expression changed suddenly. It seems to be very surprised. Because the moment Ron dodged just now, it seemed that he had cast Ultra Instinct. But it shouldn't be, if he was just a human being, how could he master something like Ultra Instinct? But from his body, I obviously felt something very familiar again. Could it be that he is really Angel? It's just not the Angel of this time and space. You must know that this kind of thing will happen, but the probability of it happening is relatively small. Observe again, if this is the case, then this guy is probably Angel. Vados started watching the game very seriously. Because the moment Ron dodged just now was so similar to Ultra Instinct. What's more, his hair is also silvery white. This is also very similar to Angel. Although I can feel that his essence is still human, but it seems to have some characteristics of Angel. I see this time, how do you avoid it? After a brief surprise, Champa's face showed a fierce look again. Then the body flashed out again. Call out, another straight punch without fancy. Ron's expression was very calm, and with a flash of his body again, he easily dodged Champa's attack. This, this is impossible, absolutely impossible. How could this happen? The two consecutive attacks failed to hit Ron, and Champa's face became slightly ugly. If it's a coincidence that one attack misses, it's obviously not a coincidence that it misses both. It's that this guy does have some kind of terrifying speed. Can dodge his own attack in an instant. You must know that in the entire universe, except Angel Vados, who can evade his own attack. No one can escape his own attack. Even if I have adjusted my combat power to a very low level, it is absolutely impossible for a human being to be comparable. It looks right, this little guy has really mastered the Ultra Instinct. But if he's just a human, how would he know about the existence of Ultra Instinct? And he has also mastered Ultra Instinct. But if it's Angel, even in other time and space, I should know something about it. At this point Vados was a little puzzled. She couldn't figure it out, and also thought how could this guy master Ultra Instinct? And it's obvious that he's very skilled at it. Except that Angel can do it, even Gods of Destruction can't do it at all. The only one who has stepped onto the threshold of Ultra Instinct is Lord Gods of Destruction Beerus of the Seventh Universe. As for human beings, they cannot touch Ultra Instinct at all, because this is the realm of gods. To be more precise, it should be an angel's normal state. Does this guy get a special mention from Wiss? But I have never heard Wiss talk about taking apprentices. Obviously not as powerful as Mr. Champa, but he has always maintained a calm posture. And from what he said before, it can be heard that he should know the existence of gods of destruction, and seems to know that Master Champa is gods of destruction. It seems that this little guy is indeed very mysterious, and there are many secrets in him. Just when Vados was extremely puzzled, Champa had already gritted his teeth and attacked again. As the gods of destruction, it was a great humiliation to him that both of his attacks failed to hit a single human. Call out, Champa's body flashed away again. Swipe. In an instant, several attacks were launched in succession. Every punch, every kick seems to be able to tear apart the space. It has to be said that the attack of Gods of Destruction is indeed terrifying. Besides, he hadn't exerted all his strength at this time. Maybe he is afraid of Gods of Destruction Beerus and Angel Wiss of the Seventh Universe. 
After all, no matter what, he is the gods of destruction of the sixth universe, no matter how long his arms are, he should not reach the seventh universe. What's more, Champa and Beerus never see eye to eye. Although they are twin brothers, they behave like enemies, and they are extremely jealous every time they meet. After Ron used Ultra Instinct, he kept avoiding Champa's attack. As he got serious, the speed increased. At this moment, even after casting Ultra Instinct, Ron felt that his speed could not keep up. After all, the gap between himself and whoever is destroying is not even a little bit. Even if Champa is the weakest gods of destruction, it is definitely not an existence that can be compared with the current self. Brush, Champa swept out again. Although he looked very fat, it didn't affect his speed at all. Ron's body quickly retreated to avoid it. Although he escaped Champa's attack, his chest was aching from the scorching energy. It seems that continuing to dodge with Ultra Instinct is not an option. I have to fight hard. If I can't beat him then, I can only run away. Ron thought, although running away is a very disgraceful thing. But if you have to choose between face and life, you will choose life without hesitation. After all, people who have lived two lives will cherish their lives even more. HMPH, ants are ants, so they know how to run around. But in front of gods of destruction, do you think these are all useful? If gods of destruction wants to, it can make you and this planet completely disappear in an instant. Seeing Ron's face gradually becoming serious, Champa said with a proud face. No way, this is the power of gods of destruction. Mastered the power of law. As long as he wants to, he can indeed make this planet and this lifeless ant in front of him completely disappear from this universe in an instant. But I can't do this now, and I can't use all my strength to fight. Beerus and Wiss will definitely find out once you use the power of destruction. At that time, his wish to find a super wishing bead will be in vain, and killing people in the seventh universe is indeed a bit against the rules. More importantly, I have always been at odds with that skinny Beerus. If he finds out about this, he won't be afraid of him at all, even though his strength may not be as good as his. However, if this guy goes to Suzino sama he will be overwhelmed. This is also what I am most afraid of. So until now, I haven't shown my real strength, let alone use the law of destruction. You do have that ability. But why don't you use it? Are you also afraid? Ron frowned and said to Champa. I have almost figured it out now, this guy Champa is afraid of Beerus. Otherwise, he would have started fighting with all his might. Hee <laughs> hee, what a lifeless bug. Do you really think that I will be afraid of you if I crush a little bug to death? Champa grinned again. This little human bug in front of him is really not that good at angering himself. I haven't been this angry for tens of millions of years. And he was pissed off by a human. This is something absolutely unforgivable. So no matter what, I must kill this lifeless fool. After the angry voice fell, Champa's body flashed out again. This time his speed became faster. And Ron saw that his combat power was soaring, and it had been stable at around 1000. But at this time, his combat strength has doubled, reaching the level of more than 2000 Z. Call out. Almost instantly, he was in front of Ron. The huge gap in strength made Ron feel a huge sense of oppression. It was as if a mountain was thrown directly towards him. Go to hell. And who doesn't know how to live or die? A cold and angry voice came out of his throat, and the next second Champa punched Ron directly. This punch directly tore apart the space, creating space ripples around it. It is so fast that even Ultra Instinct cannot dodge it. Although Ultra Instinct is very powerful, and can autonomously dodge any attack. But if the gap between the two is too large, then there is a limit to what Ultra Instinct can do. Seeing this, Ron quickly crossed his arms in front of him. Boom, with the power of a punch, Ron's body shot out like an arrow from the string. Boom boom boom, the body smashed countless mountain peaks in an instant, and finally stopped at a place thousands of feet away. There were gravel all over the ground, and Ron had two shocking marks under his feet. At this time, his expression was extremely solemn, because he felt that his arms had completely lost consciousness. Even the clothes on his arms were directly smashed into powder by the punch. This gave Ron a new understanding of the strength of gods of destruction. You must know that even if this guy's power is displayed now, it may not even reach one thousandth of it. Is this the strength of gods of destruction? 
It's much more terrifying than I imagined. It seems that although I am invincible on earth, there is still an insurmountable gap between me and gods of destruction. Unless you learn from Angel, it may not be easy to surpass gods of destruction in a short period of time. Ron moved his arms reluctantly, thinking secretly in his heart. Angel must have their angel's own training tricks, and these tricks may not be the same as those of Saiyan. This is what I need most now. As long as you get angel's guidance, your own strength will definitely improve by leaps and bounds, there is no doubt about it. Oh, can you still stand? It seems that I underestimated you a little too much, but I didn't kill you with one punch. Seeing that although Ron was in a bit of a mess, he was not killed by his punch, and even stood there straight. This surprised Champa more or less. A human being can bear his own strength, I have to say that he is always proud of it. But that's all. Because today I will definitely let him stay here completely. It's really a good seedling who can reach this level at a young age. Maybe in the future I will be qualified to become a gods of destruction of the universe, but it's a pity that I will be killed by Lord Champa today. Vados on the side murmured regretfully to himself. You must know that in the entire sixth universe, the only human being who can reach this level is probably the killer hit. More importantly, the killer hit has lived for 1000 years, which is a monster level existence for ordinary people. And the guy in front of him, if he read correctly, his age should not exceed 100 years old. Even if he has cultivated to this level in 100 years, he is indeed a rare cultivation genius. And at this time in the gods of destruction world of the seventh universe, Angel Wiss was watching Ron and Champa through the jewel on his staff. Every move is within the scope of his surveillance. Oh, who is that kid? It's so powerful that it can fight Lord Champa to this extent, and it seems that it has never appeared before, at least I haven't seen it in the universe. There was a suspicious look on Wiss' face. But having said that, Lord Champa has come to our seventh universe every now and then in the past two or three years. Should we tell Lord Beerus about this? Then he spoke to himself. The guy who fought Lord Champa was very powerful in terms of strength and fighting talent. And judging by his appearance, he is indeed very similar to that of Angel's patriarch. If I can, maybe I can apply to make him a candidate for gods of destruction in the future. After all, there is already a seventh universe for a trainee angel, otherwise, this guy might still be a trainee angel. It would not be a good thing for such a combat genius with powerful talents to be killed by the gods of destruction of the sixth universe. At least for their seventh universe, it's not a good thing. And now, Lord Champa runs to the seventh universe every now and then. With his character, it's too late to get out of nowhere. There must be something, at least what is good for him to run so frequently. Otherwise, he would definitely not come to the seventh universe, and he must take a good look at it especially the guy named Ron, really interested me. Do you want to wake up Lord Beerus? Wiss on the side began to struggle. Because such decisions are usually made by gods of destruction, Angel seldom makes decisions independently. And, Master Beerus's sleep quality is particularly good. If he wants to wake him up, he can only rely on his perfect singing voice. But now there is a very important question, if he wakes up Master Beerus. Let him know that Master Champa is doing something in the seventh universe, maybe the two of them will fight again at that time. Even if it is arguing endlessly, myself and my sister will feel quite a headache. Wiss looked at Beerus who was sleeping soundly, and finally decided not to wake him up. If this guy didn't wake up and forced him to wake him up, then he would be in a lot of trouble again. Dot dot dot. And at this time on that barren planet in the seventh universe. After a brief breath adjustment, Ron felt the energy in his body begin to recover rapidly. And he could feel that his strength was increasing rapidly. How did the energy increase so quickly? Could it be because of the injury just now? Could it be said that Angel's blood can also increase strength like Saiyan's recovery from injury? Or, this is just a characteristic of the enhanced version of Angel's bloodline. Ron's face was full of surprises. Unexpectedly, after being punched just now, after a short breath adjustment, his combat power is actually improving rapidly. And the recovery ability is also very strong. Half a minute ago, I felt that my arms had no strength at all. The whole body can feel the pain like longing. But now that pain has completely disappeared, and more importantly, my arms have fully recovered. This was a pleasant surprise to Ron. 
His energy is recovering quickly. It's incredible. He was attacked by Lord Champa just now, and his energy has obviously been greatly weakened. But in just a few breaths, his energy has actually recovered. No, to be more precise, his energy has become stronger. Ron's quick recovery brought surprise to Vado's face again. Even their angel couldn't recover in such a short period of time after being injured. And while recovering, his energy seemed to be stronger than before. What happened? Guess wrong. Could it be that this guy is not Angel? Because Angel has absolutely no such characteristics. As Angel, she knows Angel well. Hey, lifeless ants, let me see how many times you can take my attacks. With Ron standing up straight again, Champa roared. Then the body flashed out again. Brush, without any hesitation, and without any bells and whistles, Champa punched Ron directly. Come on, I can pick up many more times. There was also a fierce look in Ron's eyes. Since this guy wants to put himself to death, then he will never agree with him. His recovery speed is so fast, as long as he doesn't use the power of destruction to kill him in an instant, maybe it is a good thing for him. Because in this kind of battle, one's own improvement will be very fast. The moment the voice fell, this time Ron did not choose to defend, but directly chose to take the initiative. As soon as his right foot stepped on the ground, the entire ground was suddenly stepped out of a huge sinkhole. The rubble splashed all around, and Ron's body had already rushed towards Champa. Without any fear or hesitation, Ron also greeted him with a punch. Boom, hum rumbling, the moment the fists collided, the whole world seemed to be silent for a short time. Then, accompanied by a deafening explosion, the entire planet exploded instantly. The planet directly turned into a gorgeous firework, which bloomed in the universe capital. Call out, and Ron's body backed out again, like a spaceship of the universe, passing through the universe. Boom, then, it directly hit another planet. The entire planet was directly smashed out of a huge bowl-shaped pit. And Ron's body is embedded in the middle of the pit. At this time, there was a bloodstain on the corner of his mouth. I have to say that the collision just now was too terrifying. It feels like every inch of skin on my body has been torn apart. Pain, heart-pounding pain spreading all over the body. Especially the whole arm, as if every pore was being pricked by needles. Fortunately, there are no signs of living creatures on these two new balls. Ron's body shook, and the huge sinkhole behind him spread out again. The cracks are like spider webs, spreading rapidly towards the surface of the entire planet. And Ron's body also appeared in the universe. At this time, he could feel every cell in his body beating, and every inch of skin was constantly recovering. Every time he recovered, it seemed that his strength and ability had improved. Is this the horror of the enhanced angel bloodline? The ability to repair is so strong. If I were of other bloodlines and my strength was only this small, I would have already been turned into a pulp by the punch just now. Ron thought, I have to say that my previous choice was very correct. It is estimated that even Majin Buu's regeneration ability cannot complete regeneration under the punch of Gods of Destruction just now. After all, every attack of the Gods of Destruction, although not using the power of destruction, has a powerful power of God. Definitely not something that Majin Buu's regenerative abilities can fix. Oh, it seems that the little guy is really a little too weird. Master Champa has raised his strength to this level. Although it is not all strength, it is still very, very powerful. The two of them collided so fiercely that they didn't kill him. Vados on the side became even more surprised at this time. You must know that the gap between the two of them is beyond description. Unexpectedly, even so, the head-on collision between the two did not kill the little guy. I can tell by myself, Master Champa absolutely didn't hold back just now. Even if the other party is really a real angel. Under the gap just now, there is also a chance of being killed by more than 80%. But his physical strength seemed unimaginable, not only was he not killed, but he was still recovering quickly. How can there be such a human being? Even Champa had a look of disbelief on his face. He has absolute confidence in his attack just now, the punch just now should be able to completely deal with this idiot. But I didn't expect him to still be standing there. And it seems that the energy in the body is starting to recover again. Could it be that this guy has infinite energy? I still have some understanding of the seventh universe. After all, 
the seventh universe is the corresponding universe of the sixth universe, so many things in the two universes are pros and cons. To put it simply, the two universes are very similar. What the sixth universe has, the seventh universe also has. And what the seventh universe has, the sixth universe will also exist. Although the forms that may exist are somewhat different, they definitely exist or have existed. But in the sixth universe, I have never found such a potential and such a powerful human being. He was able to block his own attack twice without being killed. This ant really makes people feel angry. If I don't kill him today, then I won't be in front of other gods of destruction in the future. Champa clenched his fist tightly again, furious. I seriously attacked twice, but I couldn't kill a human being. This is definitely a very humiliating thing for a gods of destruction. If this spread to the ears of other gods of destruction, he would most likely become their laughing stock. This is something I absolutely do not allow. Moreover, this fool was too arrogant and presumptuous before. With these two points, I have to kill him today. Think about it. Champa's body flashed out again. Almost in an instant, he appeared in front of Ron, and then launched a storm-like attack. Every attack can cause the surrounding planets to shake violently. At this time, he was completely murderous. This, Ron also felt very clearly. At this time, after Ron improved his strength, his body was constantly dodging. Ultra Instinct seems to have become more mature, even if Champa raised his combat power to more than 2000Z. At this point Ron was able to barely dodge. This fat pig like Champa is determined to kill me. If that's the case, then enjoy this battle. Continuing to fight like this, my terrifying ability to recover and improve will definitely greatly improve my strength. Ron's face became more and more solemn at this time, and he was also looking forward to his next improvement. Although the current strength is not as strong as Champa, it is even far behind. But just now, he just recovered after being attacked twice, and it seems that his strength has made a big breakthrough. If he doesn't use his destructive power and keeps stalemate with himself like this. Maybe it won't take too long, and I will have a huge improvement. To be honest, he didn't expect the growth rate of Angel's bloodline in the battle. Brush. At this time, Champa kicked out again. Ron hastened to dodge. While dodging the attack, an energy ball condensed directly from Ron's palm. Then it was thrown directly at Champa. Hey, do you still want to fight back? What a wishful thinking ant. In front of gods of destruction, he would think of such a whimsical thing. Champa mocked indifferently. Then with a random slap, Ron's energy attack was sent flying. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.